Okay. Because that witch was totally gonna coup de grame. Uh... I don't think she was as long as there was people next to her, but... Well, she didn't see anybody next to her until Brugar showed up. That's true, because of the fog. Hey, I got the stream going. Sorry, I was a little late. No, it's all good. Still knows the Okay, so let's start today, without so. a Zerdarian? I think we'll just go without him. Uh oh. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, I mean, if you didn't go. give us a... If he didn't give us a time, then it's kind of hard to be like, let's wait for him, because, I don't know... Maybe... Oh, did he say he's going to be a little late again? Yeah, but I don't I know if I can read you the like... exact message, and you decipher it. <laughs> I gone be late. Oh, God. I gone be late. I gone. With, like... Did somebody have... No G -O -N. He's telling yeah, you to G -O -N. be late because he's gone. Uh, okay, then. I think a three-year-old kid met oh, him and sent the ransom note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, this is what computer science majors English ends up like. Oh! <laughs> okay. You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm not! He's a computer science major and this is what his English ended up like. Can't argue that. Code. It's 100% code. right then, apparently. All, uh, in all situations that I've examined. Which is that one. It's the only situation I've examined. Um. Alright then, so yeah, you guys are heading back to the, uh. Yeah, we're heading back yeah. to the artifact. Okay. Wait, again? Wait. The okay. Scooby Doo uh, artifact that was a side quest that turned into our main quest. Wait, didn't we already. Yep. Wait, we went to the artifact already, though. Wait, what are we. Yeah, yeah we're you guys are going back. back. To have a curse removed. Because oh, Philippe's cursed. Right. He's got minus four. Because we didn't really get He's got minus four, four to, like, every roll. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys had only been traveling for, like, an hour or so, and then you ran into some travelers on the road that were like, come shit by our campfire. <laughs> yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> and you guys are like, first well. Replicate at you. Yeah, so we're like, we're gonna, okay. We're gonna throw a save or die spell at you. Have fun. Eh, we did. I mean, granted, it's a save or it's a save, like, you have three attempts, which, luckily for you, because you passed on the last one. Yeah. Um, okay. Anybody doing anything particular while they're. Does Philippe have his character sheet, like, updated and shit? Hell if I know. Let's find what out. What level does it say I... day is? Um, I don't know. I'm opening it right now. This... I would assume so because he uses it for rolling. Yeah, it looks like he's he's pretty well set. He has the curse thing, but he doesn't have enabled. I need to fix that. Haste enabled, though. Haste should not be enabled. Okay. Hmm. Um, I don't know if the thing is going to properly, like, calculate. Uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. out for minions of Deklausar and or angry wizards. Uh. I don't feel like it's doing skill checks properly. I think he was running into this problem before, where his, it, the curse modifier wasn't giving him the minus four to skill checks. The way it's supposed to. What's his normal modifier? I think his normal modifier is like 24 or 26 or something stupid. You might be right. Let me double check this. If I uncheck it, it still says it's 22. Oh, okay. So, I guess whatever that said, but minus 4. I don't know. Um... Still better than Tiki. Yeah. Hey. I don't know I have flaws.
You don't know that you're blind? That's a surprise. You've told us. <laughs> Okay. My flaw is being overly brash and unsympathetic to people. I have no flaws because I'm a dwarf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh-huh. Because no dwarves, dwarves have flaws. At least no. that's what dwarves Krugar are... believes. Dwarves are the perfect people. There was actually we were chiseled from perfection. An excellent video that came out today by Vox. No, not Vox. Wait, was it Vox? Yeah. No. Oh man. Ted Ed. About why incompetent people think they're amazing. I'm just, I'm just, it, the video is real. It's good, though, but. I'm just kidding. Watch it sometime, though. Oh, that wasn't the link, was it? Oops. Alias sees something from beyond the grave. No, I'm just Thank kidding. <laughs> um, well, maybe his spirit sees something. Maybe. He's watching over you. Um. Okay, as you guys are, you know, for about an hour and a half, you're getting fairly close to the cave, and you do notice, like, there's some um, signs of a some sort of what the hell is game this? or something. What? How's what? In the Twitch channel. What do you mean? I have n no idea. I don't know what you're talking about. I actually haven't opened it yet. There's like these spinning like triangle thing. Oh, it. that's cheers. cheers. Oh, yeah, because we're affiliated with Because we're awesome. But what does it mean? <laughs> it means money. Someone it gave her $3.29. Well, us. Well, this is mostly going to go towards Fantasy Grounds stuff. Let's see. I told you. Alright, so yeah, you only really notice, uh, like, some signs of, like, like a large creature perhaps going through, like, the underbrush near the road as you guys are walking, but, um, it looks like it was probably, like... I don't know, some sort of game or something that went through. But other than that, uh, you don't really notice anything. Um, it's still really, really rainy. Um, obviously there's no fog, at least, so that's good. Um, and you manage to get all the way back to the uh, priest. Or the, yeah, you get all the way back to the cave uh, with a shrine in it at, uh, without any running into any trouble. Even if there was fog, somebody would have been able to see through it, I think. I forget who we gave the fog-cutting glasses to. Uh, That's an Ilios? I have them. Or not Elios. Uh, he Kale? has them. Kale, Kale. Kale has them. Yeah. This party has fog-cutting glasses, too? Yeah. Yeah, we got them. Well, the, uh, the person who... Ca the witch who cast Suffocate on uh, Amber did it through the fog because she had fog-cutting glasses. Oh. Did so I get any able loot? to do it from like a range? Uh, I don't know. Did I think so. The amulet, or did they give you an amulet of natural armor? Or the I think or? so. I don't know. Something. I think they gave you. Uh, maybe they gave you the wand of of alter person. <laughs> no, we yeah. didn't give that. To him. <laughs> totally, that's what we gave Brugar. <laughs> we gave yeah. you something. I know that I took the ring, and that was it. Well, there was there were two rings of protection, two cloak or two amulets of natural armor, and two cloaks of resistances. I think actually, I think there were three of them. Like everybody had, they all three of the coven had had those items basically. 
All I know is that I only have the Ring of Protection and the Cloak of Resistance, so I don't have the Amulet of Natural Armor or the Fog Cutting Glasses. Or the wand. I gave that to Alias. Not Alias. Kale. Sorry. Like I said, the <laughs> there were there were multiple amulets of natural armor. So. Oh, there I were. Think. I thought. Oh, there actually, were... there might have. No, you only said there. Was no, one. I think there was. I think there was just one because the hags had didn't have those. It was just the witch had that. I think. Yeah, just the witch had that. I was just wondering. Anyway, if I if we're think back he the has shrine, the then. amulet of natural armor. Yeah, so they they seem like as standing at the for, or the front of the cave, watching, you know, like keeping guard, basically, or like kind of surprised to see you guys back. Um, it's only been like four hours, so yeah. I think you guys are injured though, so I mean they probably can tell that you probably ran into trouble. And they, uh... I don't think I'm that injured. I'm not injured at all. Who took the damage? Yeah, I'm not that injured. At least I don't see There's any damage. There's nothing that a day's rest won't deal with. Yeah, I, know, I know Amber took some damage. Um, I, I maybe you know, I've been the only one that took... Philippe took some damage as well because of his... Got choked. His crazy, uh, maneuver that he tried doing. Well, I cast two <laughs> Cure Seriouses and one Moderate, so I know I did that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm almost back to full health. But if I, I rest, I'll be at full health. So I can definitely fill anybody up before... Oh, I still get you guys on this map. Yeah. But we just what the left. Hell well, we left for four hours, then came back, so that probably took us four hours. So our day is gone, I guess. Well, a portion of it, at least. No, I think Pluto said we hadn't been on the road for that long. I thought he said four hours just a moment ago. Well, it's been four hours since about since you left here, so oh, it was so two like hours two, and two, two, two hours. hours. Yeah. yeah, so we still got a good portion of time left. Yeah, we've got half a day left. Um, yeah, you might not be able to make it to the, uh, if you left now, or it'd be really late when you get to that. There's a little town that's kind of between here and the, uh, um, and Harse. I don't think I ever actually officially gave it a name, but it was a little tiny town that had, like, a single inn called the, uh, which I did name that, and that was the Kurt Weasel. Okay. Um... So we either rest No, nah, we're we're or... just gonna we're gonna ask them if they can help us. We got cursed. We ran into some hags. We ran into some hags. Yep, some old people who we uh, kicked out of the town because they were they were doing hag things. Well, did they follow you here? No. Well, yes. But they're they're, they're no gone longer. Now. They're ex hags. Oh, I see. Um I all right then. I'll go get Martin cuz I can't help you with that. And the priest runs off to go find Martin. Martin. And Martin comes over and says, like, okay, well, I'll help you then. And, um, yeah, he just casts Remove Curse. I don't think that has a material component cost or anything, does it? I don't think so. Uh, does Remove Curse have, like, does he have to make a cast level check or anything like that? I think so. Yeah, it has to beat the curse, DC. I think it gives a bonus, or it might not, I don't know. There's no bonus. This is the straight caster level check roll. I always get confused because so there's going... like remove poison, remove disease, and they're all slightly different from each other. It's dumb. I think they're all the same, actually. Not really. They just no. deal with different I think things. they're all about the same. Yeah. 
It's caster level, your caster level, plus a d20. Against the DC of the curse. Uh, what was the DC on that stupid curse? Ten. <laughs> For the shitty witch. I think the least it could be is like 15. Well, it's 11 plus the caster level. Or no, that's dispelling. Uh... No, it's the it's caster level check in this case. In this case, it's caster level check versus the DC that was, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's the DC, not the not the dispel route. Um, so the the formula, I mean, which would have high intelligence. I just don't have the stat block open anymore for her, so I don't remember exactly what the DC was. So I'm just gonna guess. Maybe like a... Uh, so he tries to remove it and says, I don't think I was successful this time, um, and I'm not going to be able to try again today. Okay, well, I guess we're waiting around for a day. I'm going to craft! <laughs> I don't... well... Yeah. Um, then... Yeah, you guys are welcome to stay here, of course. At the shrine. Yeah. We're... We have a, um... We have a hunter that, like, one of the dwarves is going out to do some hunting. He says he wants to cook, like, a boar or something. So, hopefully... Hopefully he's able to find one of those, and we'll be able to have some sort of uh, a feast of sorts tonight. Is he already uh, that out? Would be good. Uh, yeah, he left about an hour ago. Well then. Maybe. Okie dokie. So, uh... I'm going to give you that 28 on my craft check. Okay. Because I'm taking 10. And I'm making sorcerer's robe. Okie dokie. Well, I don't have much to do during this time, so I'm... Yeah. Well, I guess... You can consult your star chart, I suppose. I don't know what to ask my star chart other than silly questions like, how's the family? <laughs> you can ask them questions about the f people who are following us. Well, you would have to suggest that to her. Well, yeah, Amber's busy. if Amber saw Tiki looking, uh, you know, bored, she'd suggest that. Oh. Well, who's following us, Amber? Uh, only followers of Declausar who want to kill us and rip out our entrails and serve them to demons. They still don't understand that, though. Why? Uh, because they're evil, and that's what evil people do. That's it? Amber shrugs. <laughs> she goes quickly back to crafting. <laughs> did, we didn't use it today, did we? The star chart? Uh, I don't know. 
I don't think so. I think you used it yesterday. They used it yesterday. Is there a tavern or an inn somewhere? No, we're at the cave. Uh, nope. <laughs> this oh. is the shrine? Yeah. Yeah. Was, was Brugar with us when we were here? No. I mean, the character Brugar was. met us right after this. Ah, so this is first... Well, not first time, but... First time, I guess, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, last time you guys were here was the first time Brugar had been to this location. Yeah. And this is the shrine of what? Carcanus. Yeah, it's an old shrine of Carcanus that uh, is kind of... Um, it's kind of in a cave now because... Uh, um, I think this was stuff you gathered before, already at this point, which was basically that it used to be within like a kind of a ravine here in the Mindspin Mountains, and... Uh, at some point, the canyon kind of collapsed over the top of it. So now that's why it's basically a cave now. Gotcha. So inside, there's this gigantic statue. Um, and yeah, it kind of looks like... Um, it looks sort of like a person with kind of a... Uh, almost like a stag-like head, basically, with, like, these antlers that spread out, and the antlers have, uh, basically, little, uh, stars on them, effectively. Um, and what's interesting about it, too, is that, um, because of that, Tiki can actually see the statue even when she's further than, like, she'd normally be able to see it. Uh, it functions to her as if she were actually looking at a real night sky. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like this big, like, I don't know, like 40 foot tall statue with its like arms spread out. And then the, the antlers stretch out even further. And all sorts of crazy magic shit happens if you interact with it. Especially if you're not careful. What well, kind of weird stuff? Well, if you don't cast uh, Protection from Evil before you touch it, it will uh, effectively astral project you to Deathclaw Sar, and you'll take, like, wisdom damage and shit. It's pretty bad news. Well, that's but not fun at all. if you shield yourself properly, you can use it to, like, communicate with other people that have that are connected to the shrine. Um, well, that doesn't, also that doesn't sound before. fun either. <laughs> well, I mean, what? it's it's the foundation of the internet on Galarian. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically used as like um <laughs> like an emergency phone service for the priests of Kirkonus. Uh since the high priest, it since Kirkonus was a travel do uh deity, a lot of times his high priests would be out like traveling the world. So, if they ever needed to get a hold of somebody of like one of the high priests, that was how they would They'd do it. They'd send a message, phone me! <laughs> yeah. In theory, they also used it to communicate, like to commune directly with Kirkonis as well, but that doesn't right, really work anymore because Kirkonis is dead. Well, I'm going to get deep in this cave and get comfortable. Alright. And start singing dwarven songs to myself. Hey, there's the there's dwarves here. They'll probably hang out with you and sing dwarven songs with you. Okay, sweet. Because uh, originally when they first came here, they came here with a, a basically a mining, like a, a guy who wanted to mine mithril from it. Um, oh, in, in that case, I, I start up like a, a round of diggy diggy hole. <laughs> okay. A great traditional dwarven folk song. It and um... <laughs> it goes like this: I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. It probably doesn't take long for some of the dwarves to join in. I guess they're uh... they're pretty easy to convince. 
They, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a several miners as well. Um, I tell story. I don't know if anybody's asked about uh, Vorin, but Vorin, you, anyone who does would find out that Vorin isn't here right now. He, he's on a, he's actually uh, went to he just left for Yanderhof. Um, he's our friend, window. right? He's the guy the who, who yeah, this mine. he's the one who inherited the mine, basically. Who we evicted the other guys for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the people that were fake haunting the mine. I mean, a couple of the dwarves that are working the mine now were people that are working for the other guy. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure you guys, like, were like, uh, oh, yeah, just keep working here. Just keep... Yeah, like, they were just like, Vorts just like, yeah, you guys could just keep mining how you guys were, except I'll pay you instead of that guy paying you. Where? We actually managed to convince some of them to mine for us. Mm hmm And coerced others. Um... Anyway, as it starts getting later in the evening, uh, what do you guys do? Anything different? Nah. I continue to sing and make merry with the dwarves. With, with my people. And we drink, if any drink is available. I mean, there's dwarven miners here. Of course there's drink available. That's right. Most of them don't actually know how to mine without drinking. And uh, as Mantis predicted, you also hear that the hunter that went out earlier in the day has not returned. <laughs> so, what a shock, I know. Um, so... He must be some kind of sorcerer. <laughs> I must be. So yeah, well, if it's a something couple that of... like sounds like it's becoming concerning, then I will. I, I will. Yeah, you would. And... You'd be one of the first ones to hear about it, actually, because the hunter is actually a dwarf, and so some of his other dwarf buddies are like seeming a little concerned about, like, man, he's been out a while, hasn't he? What's his name? The missing dwarf's name? Vorin? No, Vorin is not the hunter. That's the guy. He left. He left on a trip to. Oh. Uh, he's the guy who owns the mine. No, the the dwarven dwarven hunter's name is Tycom. This guy's and, not uh, our friend. Yeah, you guys have never met Tycom before. Yeah, they're like Tycom is kind of a weird dwarf. He likes uh he's he's one of those weird dwarfs that likes trees a bit more than is healthy. He's too elf like for dwarven tastes. Trees are nice. The dwarf uh kind of scowls. His trees are definitely not nice. Hmm. And well, uh, crazy though he may be, uh, this dwarven brother is missing. Yes, do and about. well, some of the dwarves are already kind of moving, like they're gonna go go look for him. I will, I will go and also look for him. All right, so we're gonna go looking. I don't know, are you? Yeah. You guys don't have to. I'm gonna join, because this, this I'm not is... really doing anything else. I guess Philippe right. won't, because well, he's... I'm Tiki, Philippe I'm is helping. not feeling well. So Philippe's gonna... Philippe's gonna not go, because I don't want to NPC him. Oh no, we lost our tank! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Our, our... Absorb all the damage first guy? 
Okay, yeah, so what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, our tank. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call that a tank. I would just call it absorbing damage first. I mean, he's still yeah, got he's a body sponge. He pretends to be a caster and uh, <laughs> lets our actual casters do casting stuff. He can withstand it, though. He can't. He's got that mirror. He can 50% of the time. 50% of the time he tanks the hits all the time. Is that like once per day or can yeah, it's like it guardian standard action to activate it and he can do it's it like, as many times as he wants? Or it's what? an immediate action, but he can do it like three times a day oh, or something. Three. He's already done it twice. Yeah, three times a day. He's already done it today. <laughs> he done it twice today. So yeah. No, he did then, it three and times. And then today. what? He runs out of Oh, he did it all three times? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, he used it pretty much all against that uh that witch that was Try to you throw a bestow curse on him, which he eventually did. It, it eventually this landed. Is why we're back here. Yeah. We wouldn't be back here if I didn't suggest that he should fall on her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that that was your idea? That was my idea. Oh lord! I was like, you could co totally jump down in on her. He was like, yeah. I'm like, oh god. Well, I mean, I totally was gonna do something, but once he jumped down there, I was like, nah, whatever. Uh, freaking Philippe's health is not tracking across character or across maps. Um. So, yeah, let's go deal with some demons who have killed our dwarf. Alright. What makes you think that's what happened? Jeez. Making all these assumptions. Uh, okay, how do you guys... Well, we know there are followers of Deklausara, and we know there is an angry <laughs> demon loose, so I'm just putting a couple of things together. There are either yeah. probably demons or demon worshippers, or it's an angry wizard. But I don't think the angry wizard would be mad at some random dwarf. <laughs> I can't do anything with these guys, but I kill their dwarf friend that they've never met. Yeah. Like, I might be completely wrong. Maybe Akai has taken to taking dwarves hostage instead of uh, Shawanti. But, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'll go out and I'll start looking around. I don't think I have a very good survival to help out with this. Well, I can't but see shit, but if you point it out, I might be able to help survive. We just have to find the tracks. If it's then, swampy, uh, well, that's a perception, right? Them. Yeah. Yeah, finding them is I'll perception. The track. So, yeah. You don't really find any tracks. You do hear, like, some of the other dwarves, you know, out running around yelling for him. Like, like yeah, you hear a bunch of dwarves. Kale, like, oh, Ty Tycom! Tycom! You out there? Like, oh, hey, Tycom, where you at? This isn't funny. Find it. Uh, yeah, Ryza notices, does notice some tracks that uh, she points out to Kale, who then does whatever he does with him. Okay. Which is apparently nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, tracks. Somebody found tracks. tracks. There's tracks. Oh. Let me see if I can figure out where they go. Tiki, use your nose. This isn't a swamp. I'm having a hard time. It's just not the same. Oh darn. I'll try. Yeah, you are my able. Nose. You are able to follow them for a little while. That's that's the wrong skill, but I think it has the same modifier. It does.
Where the heck is this thing? Okay. So you guys kind of are looking around and not really having much luck. Um, you're still hearing some of the dwarves, you know, yelling a little bit. Uh, like, yelling the name, you know, Tychor. But, um... Go ahead and roll another perception check for everybody. If I can get this cat fur out of my face. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, everybody except for Tiki hears a, uh, what sounds like a fight or something. Like, they hear, they hear, like, a dwarf yelling. Like, ugh, you get off, ugh. And then, and then, like, a, kind of a, yeah, like, a gasp. And, uh, then you don't hear anything. And you hear it coming off, uh, to the west of where you guys are right now. We'll go I off to the to west and investigate. The okay. And if it sounds like there's some kind of danger or whatever, pulling out the hammer and the shield. I mean, it sounds like there was a fight. No yeah, danger. Hammer and shield. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, invisibility myself. Okay. I'll Anything cast, else anybody uh, else does? Uh, magic evil circle. Okay. Because it works that way. Anything else? Um. Depends. No. Oh, I don't need that one. Okay, eventually you guys kind of come, you're going through like kind of this uh, not very, not very thick, like kind of foresty area. Um, and eventually you come, you see a kind of an opening. Um, I'm going to bring you guys to a map here. So you see some dwarves in the in this clearing, and they both look pretty... Uh, they look unconscious, for one thing. And they're just kind of in a heap up ahead of you. All right. Um, Let's go see if they're uh, if they're still alive. Say we go check it out. Okay. Do you do anything on, in guys. particular about how you're doing this? Well, well you know, uh, I look around and see if uh, yeah, anything might be still lurking nearby. I use my okay. Own so you want to give me a perception? And, uh, I I'm so bad at it. hiding, you know, I'm just, I'm invisible, but I'm not trying to, like, mask my footsteps or whatever. Okay, uh, as you guys are starting to approach, Kale notices uh, a very large, strange-looking creature uh, oh. uh, basically hiding up at the top of the 
like kind of above the cliff up here, kind of crouched, trying to hide uh, behind, like kind of in the underbrush up there. Um, kind of ping where you see it, but it looks uh, like you can't really make out a whole lot of details about it, but it looks like a very, very large creature, and it looks like it has kind of like a red and black kind of coloration. And Does it looks it like it look might be humanoid. Not at all. It definitely looks bestial. It's a beast wizard. Um, where did did you ping? He yeah, might be on the jam layer, but I'm guessing it's up here. Oh, I am on the wrong layer. It's right here, actually. Ah, further. Okay. Okay. Well, I was sort of close. Hmm. Thing. And you can't really see, like, you just see part of it. You don't see, like, where its face is exactly. You can't tell if it's if it's watching you, although you assume it probably is. Um. Okay. Um. I'm going to... So we're, we're technically in free movement right now, right? Kind of. Um, this is... Okay, so this is happening as... Like Brugar and uh, Tiki are moving forward, so you don't have a whole lot of time. You can you can do like very short kind of actions, but if you try to do anything like long and complicated, it's probably gonna not. You're probably not gonna have time to do it. I want if you to want to cast like, a spell. Magic. Okay, then do you do anything else or just that? That. Okay, so you move over and you start casting your spell, and uh, everyone gets to roll initiative now, because it All doesn't right. like it doesn't like that. I already moved right next to me. Hopefully, it again. doesn't fireball me. There's not much I can do about it if it does. You know, not very many things have fireball, by the way. Wizards do. <laughs> it could still, like, wizard? you know, um... He was described as a beast. I think it's a Kai. That's, that's it my... It could still have a wizard spell. hat. A Kai looks like a beast. A red and black... Yeah, he he red polymorphed himself. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna do that eventually to you guys. I'm gonna give you, like, some kind of, like creature that you you'd probably see like you know while adventuring but it's gonna have a little wizard hat on it and it's gonna fuck your day up. Uh -huh. we do that well enough all by ourselves anyway uh so so we do in battle Maybe. Mm -hmm. It probably has a surprise round thing it wants to do. Does it? Well, didn't Alias get the surprise? Well, not the surprise, but... Did he? Kale, you mean? Kale, yeah. Did Kale get the surprise for casting? Or what? Yeah, you'll get a surprise round as well. Um, where the... I don't think it can actually get to you guys yet. That's unfortunate for it. Uh, you know what it can do, though? It can do this. Uh, so... This is still the same day as last combat, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm just making Yes, sure. it is. So, you Ooh. guys see... It comes out of the, uh, from under these underbrush here. I'm going to put it on the layer so you guys will actually be able to see it now. Uh, so it kind of looks sort of like a bear, but, well, the top part of it does. It has, like, a, a, the head of a bear. Um, but its lower part of the body kind of looks more like, like a gorilla or something like that. Um, and it has kind of, like, this red and black kind of fiery look to it. 
Um, and it kind of kind of does this loud a roar at you guys. Um, so let's see how far away is everybody here? It's gonna hit everybody but Tiki. Um, this is gonna be a reflex save, actually. So it shoots oh, out. I'm good at. It roars with this, and like kind of, you can feel just everything kind of shaking. It's kind of this ear piercing roar. I still don't see it. Uh, that's you should be able to see it. <laughs> it's on the map layer. I see on it the, on the token layer. Anyway, yeah, I need a reflex from everybody but Tiki. Okay. Hooray! Did my reflex Is this a not spell go or spell like ability? Nope. That's correct. Um. Damn. I rolled an 18. What was that question? Is it what evil, type of ability? Uger gets a bonus, right? It is evil. So you'd get the uh, protection from evil reflex bonus, or the uh, resistance bonus. Alright, I well, still don't so see Amber. My, my save is not that good. Yeah. I I swear I rolled it, but I guess it didn't actually roll. Well, I I guess I have a fourteen now. Okay, so everybody's gonna take full damage except for Ryza. Does Ryza have Ryza does not have improved evasion though, so she's gonna take half. Rip. Or doesn't have evasion at all, I don't think, does she? No. No boy no. Really? Okay, yeah, everyone takes really seven. Bad. You got familiar yeah, archetypes. I've lost archetype. it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So everybody takes seven sonic damage from this roar. Oh, Gotta but roar she fat. has spell resistance. Mm -hmm. Might be a yeah, supernatural. This isn't a, this isn't a spell. Um, okay. This is just a supernatural ability it has. Um... And, uh, Kale, you get one surprise round action as well. You could continue concentrating on your, um, thing. Let's see, you don't detect any magic towards it, though, I don't think. And it goes 60 feet. Yeah, you don't detect any magic on yep. it. Okay. Um, for my standard action, I'm going to cast Shield on myself. Okay. And now we're back in the normal round. So, Tiki, you're the first on the initiative. You get to go first. All right. What did it do on its turn? It, it did, shouted at us. Yeah, it did a like supernaturally screaming? loud shout, oh, okay. and it's yeah, it did scream. It screamed basically. It did some. It did some sonic damage to everybody else. Uh, you were far enough away that it didn't hit you. You were just barely out of its range. Um. Is this Knowledge Arcana? Knowledge Planes. Planes, okay. No idea. Um... Oh yeah. I forgot, I'm missing spells in my hair lab. Let me look at roll 20, what I got here. Uh, I will delay my action. Okay. Till after the creature. Okay, Brugar, your turn. This thing's up on a cliff, uh, basically. So this cliff is about okay. 
most places here it's about uh, 10 feet up. It's not super high, but uh, over, over kind of in this last bit here, it's only, he's only like 5 feet up here. Let's see. And this is like a slope up here. All right then, I'm gonna go fight. I'm gonna go do the fighter thing. Yep. Let's see. Move over here. There's a double move. And I yell at it. I try to intimidate. Oh, okay. I yell at it, come at me, you big beastie. This is using, like, the Intimidate, uh... I have a skill. Okay. Are you doing, like, the like the standard action? Okay, you're not doing, like, the standard no, action. To, to demoralize okay. it. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it is? Okay, cool. Go ahead and make the roll, then. Yeah, it, it just makes it shaken for, like, a round, unless I beat it by, like, a ton. <laughs> yeah. His hit no, die. No, it doesn't. That's my. Oh, okay. On its turn. I'm trying to get its attention. Yep, it's going to come down the cliff here and come up uh, you have like any sort of now nah, even if you had a reach weapon it would it would just enter into your threatened space doing that um, right. so he's gonna come up here and he's going to attempt to uh, He's going to attempt to do an awesome blow on you. All right. <laughs> so. No lava this week. The 38 beat your CMD. Uh, it does. Okay. How much does it beat a buy? Let's see. I guess it doesn't matter with his with his ability. It doesn't have to. It is if it beats it is ten feet. Okay. So well, he knocks he you. Except, okay, he doesn't knock you back ten feet because he instead he knocks you into the wall. So okay, you get knocked into the wall here. Um, so you take damage from hitting the wall. Let's do that, because that's not very much damage. Uh, the damage from this is a little bit more... Eh, it's not that bad, actually. So you take 10 damage, and you're knocked prone. Oh no, Brugger is being... Uh, he just and got a taste of his own medicine. That's its turn. Hard. <laughs> Kale, I think turn. it's Tiki's turn now. Yeah, it's oh, Tiki's, Tiki's turn. turn. I forgot. I need to. There we go. Okay. I can um, hit those numbers easily. I. Forbid it to attack. I forbid it to read. <laughs> Um, okay. Am I 40 from it? It gets too many. I'll move up. Okay. To here. I'm just gonna... Um, it saves. Dang it. And now it's Kale's turn. Is there a knowledge I can roll on, on this thing? We knowledge planes. Yeah, buddy. 
No. Um, I don't think that's going to be... Dang, dice have enough. not been generous. You know, it's an extra planar creature. <laughs> or at least yeah, you don't natural. know. You don't know what this okay. is. Um. All right. <laughs> okay. Whenever I get out, so I'm going to move. Uh, within what's the range here? So stressful. Forty feet. All right, sure, I'll do that for now. Um. There. Um, Rise is going to cast Grease. Okay. Um. Um. Direct guessing directly like underneath a, it. Yeah, directly underneath it. Or do you want to put it kind of forward in front of it a little bit? Uh, if I put it in front of it, Bruger has to go through it. What do you want to put in front of it? Grease. He's talking about putting grease. He's just going to put it directly underneath it. Okay, so it gets a reflex save, I believe. Yep. You're feeling um... very slippery. Okay, it rolled a 19. Yeah, I'm sure that passes. Yeah, I assume so, but I don't know what the DC is on your character. <laughs> it's a level 1 spell, though. DC 17. Okay. It does hinder it a little bit, though. Um, At least if it wants to like, yeah, move, because it's got to make that acrobatics roll. Um, all right. And Amber's turn. I'm going to, oh, you have a swift action. Sorry, I'm going, go ahead. Yeah. Well, I'm going for for Kale. I'm going to um uh fuck. I'm just gonna cast Ray of Frost from here. No, actually I'm going to um cast shock and grasp and hold the charge. Okay then. There, yeah. Uh, Amber, your turn. Uh, haste. All right. Haste the party. Okay. I like hearing those words. Everybody has haste. Uh, and I'm going to acknowledge this thing. Okay, be knowledge plane. I'm pretty sure mm. this is an extra planar creature. Yeah, you don't know what this is. <laughs> it's probably like a demon. Could... Which means it probably has a cold iron and maybe good damage reduction. I'm just assuming it's a demon. And it's resistant to all sorts of things. All sorts of energy things. So, good luck. Uh, I am going to, let's see, I'll move over here. Okay. In case it decides to breathe fire at the party this way. Eh, we will be fine. Well, you would have been fine, but you moved. Yeah, now you're not in the, protect the Cirque Protection Evil. What are you going to yeah, do? Yeah, man. Yeah. What am I going to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Brugar, you're prone, but it's your turn now. I am prone, but you can't keep a good dwarf down. 
<laughs> I'll get up. Okay, that five provokes. Foot step towards it. All right. Okay, before you five foot step though, let's do this attack opportunity because I could change things considerably. Um, tries to claw at you. So 25 hit? Yes. Okay, it's going to attempt Jeez. to grab you. This thing's rolling high. Oh, uh, yeah, it grabs you. Oh, so you're not oh, grappling instead. Modifiers are high. No, no, so this, is, of five foot this is what I want. Instead of oh, stepping okay, forward, you're... Okay. Yeah, you still have your 5 foot step now. What do you do with your standard action? <laughs> I'm going to try and trip. I'm going to bring it down. Okay. I'm... There's Wait, grease, we're gonna get sloppy. Can you trip it while you're <laughs> Wait, what? There's nothing that Yes, actually. Wow. Yeah, you can trip stuff that's grappling you. It's, uh... That's amazing. no reason you can't. Okay, alright. It'll still be grabbing you by, like, the ankles or something, yeah. You do have a He's penalty like, to that, hell's I hard think. hard-ass, stab it. Because <laughs> I think the... The, um... You being grappled will give you some penalties that'll make it harder to trip him, but still, you can do it. I'll just hit the grappled thingy on my character. Okay. There. It yeah, it should, it should do it. Alright, asshole. Let's see who <laughs> out CMBs the other person. Oh, jeez. CMB wants Hide your ass. Um, let's see here, 34, and it's, uh, CMD is, that is not enough to trip it, unfortunately. Aww. Darn. Dang. It's okay, guys, I've got it, I've got it to 10. <laughs> All right, on its turn. Hmm. Does it wanna? Does it wanna let go of this grapple? I don't know if it does. No, I think it is. I think it is gonna uh, let go of its grapple for now. Um. So it's gonna let go of the grapple. As a free action, I gotta okay. remove the prone thing on you because you're no longer prone, at least. That is correct. So it wants to it wants to murder you, so it's gonna try really hard to right. murder you now. Okay. I try not to look away. Uh, should I have it power attack? Is a good question here. Mm, let's see. I'm not grappled anymore. It's true, you're not grappled, you can remove that. Yeah, you might miss. I could. <laughs> what is this? No, I don't think it's gonna power attack. Oh, I think I it, it not yet. It's gonna attempt oh, to just okay. do a normal attack. Uh it bites, it does a twenty three hit. I'm guessing no. Not. My AC is twenty six at the moment. Okay. It's gonna attempt to claw at you now. Does a twenty eight hit. Yes. Okay. Um, and then on this one, it's not going to try to grab you yet. Uh, it's going to, it wants to do its other claw attack yeah, first. Yeah, save it for a lap. Right, because it's pretty confident with its tactic here that it's going to hit you. It, it thinks so, at least. Okay. So 15 damage from its claw. Ooh, and 37, so I think that hits as well. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, that's a D200. Oh, you're right. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> 19 is actually a really bad roll for a D200. Uh, 25 in that case, does that hit? That does not hit if we're taking that second roll. That's one All right. in AC. Well, you're in business then. It does not hit you with the second right. time. I'm sorry, I, I'm not going to call out all rolls, but that's a D200. Yeah, no, I'm glad you did. That's, uh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, it was only a 19. Right. No, I'm kidding. I, it was a really bad roll for a, for a D200. Like, 
I don't know. I should. I guess if I wanted to be really generous, I could have just been like, "That's a one." But uh, yeah, or I would have probably made it a two. Technically, would have probably been the way to do that. Well, no, it could have been a one. Anything that was a zero through nine. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not gonna. <laughs> we just did a different roll instead. Um, Kiki's turn. Um, okay, uh, well, nobody's standing in my lovely circle, that's not quite a circle, so I'll move to here. Okay. And... You are hasty. Uh, that's not going to help a whole lot, but thank you. Uh... Hmm. I will glitter dust it. Take that. Glitter foul dust. Beast. Foul beast. Okay. Yeah. Does it have uh, eyes? I mean, it has eyes, like, as far as I can tell. Yes, it has eyes. Okay. It has, like, a bear head. Yeah. I didn't identify it, so uh, I don't really know if this is going to work, but hey, we'll find out. It could always roll one. Yeah, and I'll do it. Uh, in the nope, same it fails. It is. Ha -ha. Okay, it's blinded. It is now blinded. Now it's flat. Foot. Easier to trick. That's true. It lowers its CMD. Yay. Where the hell's the bleeding eye icon that I normally like to use for this situation? There it is. It's blind! Time for the disco and grease and glitter. And now it's Kale's turn. Okay. Somebody cast dancing light. Oh man. I have that spell. <laughs> Party time, <Twice>. guys. <laughs> All right. Um... Just make it really confusing. Okay. Book. <sighs> Well, where Brugar is. One, two. That wouldn't provide a flank, dang. It's blind, so that's going to be helpful. You should be able to get a... All right, so um, this square right here would that be partial cover? Uh, no, all the not from melee attacks at least. All right, that's where I'm going to end up moving. And you have haste, so you should be able to go wherever the hell you want. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't have to measure. I have haste on. I'm a <laughs> yeah, just like just like pick wherever you want. Just just move there. I don't even care. He's just like, I'm moving the other side of those dwarves. Like, that's, it's probably okay, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> but whatever, you have haste. Alright, I'm still going to hold the charge then. Um, but before I do that, um, Ryze is going to breathe on him. And he has mm, to make okay. a, uh, DC 12 fort save. DC 12 fort save, okay. Um, and it has a pretty good fort save. So it's probably going to make... Okay. So what do you do then? You still have a standard action. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack him with my scimitar. Okay. And, yeah. East, what is my attack? 13. Let's see. Because it is blind, 
is a little oh, bit lower plus two AC. For flank. Uh, you don't actually have a flank from that position. Oh, okay. Um, so you actually miss, even though it's blind. You just barely miss. You scratch up against you. You basically kind of hit its high, but you don't land a good enough of a blow to, um, to actually hit him. Okay. Yeah, diagonals are kind of annoying in that way, where you can only flank, technically, from a direct diagonal. You have to okay. be able to draw a line from one side of it to the other, and this doesn't go through, like. Yeah, it goes Two through corners. the side of him. It only goes yeah. through one corner. Yep. It goes through the right side and the bottom side. It has to go. They have to go through opposite sides. Um. Okay. Uh, is that is that it, or do you have a swift action you want to do or something? No, that's it. Okay. Amber's turn. Uh, I don't know what this thing does, but, uh, force damage usually works on stuff. Usually. Uh, so, uh, let's, let's start throwing some force damage at it. This will get rid of my invisibility. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um, I'm throwing a magic missile at it. Do I have to make a caster level check? You do. It has spell resistance. That's what I thought. Does my spell yeah, fizzle? Your, your magic missile does not do anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, anything else? Any move actions? Uh, I'll five a step and I'll hide in this tree. <laughs> okay. Uh, round three, Brugar, it's your turn now. So you have a blinded can I five bear demon. To... You sure can. All right. Now I'm flanking, stacking these uh these bonuses. We're gonna try and trip it. Now my CMB is just as high as its CMB. Alright, asshole. Here goes the trip. I'm gonna full round it, by the way. The first attack's gonna be a trip. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it'd be a critical trip if that was a thing. Well, actually it wouldn't. Because I'm gonna follow wouldn't. up well, with an immediate Well, actually it would've, probably, because it's blind. And cast Staggering Fall. Okay, so hold on a second here. Uh, staggering Fall does not succeed because of its spell resistance. But it is still knocked prone. prone. So it's now blind and prone in a puddle of grease. Yep, I... I cry out, you're not so tough, and I send it on its ass, and then I bring my hammer around for the actual hit at 5 down. Okay. Oh yeah, that's probably not updated. What is Tiki's caster level? It'll be 7 instead? I think you guys are level 7. Yeah, we are. Yeah, seven. we're level 7. Okay, so that would have been yeah, a she's... 20. Probably. Oh no, she has, uh, she has energy drain. I forgot about that. Alright. We haven't been able to get rid of the energy drain on her yet, so the 6 actually is correct. I guess that's true. Uh, so let's see, a 26 does hit it. Alright. Um, but you see that not all the damage goes through. Okay. In fact, it barely looks like it hurt it at all. It's tough. 
It's very tough. It's kind of tough. One of those. <laughs> I don't remember how the color, how we usually do the color coding. All right, well that's my. Uh, I usually have blue as, uh, you know, injured, but not above seventy-five percent. Green for below seventy-five percent, above fifty. Well, we'll do it that way. Um. All right, it's turn. Well, it knows where, where Brugar is because of where he was, uh, because of where he got attacked from. So he's going to attempt to uh, attack Brugar from being prone. But he's got penalties because he's blind and also because he is uh, prone. So let's see... And that one does not hit for the bite. Uh, you're going to do his two claw attacks. That one probably doesn't hit. And that one maybe would hit, but he's got a roll of concealment. So we'll do a one hits, two miss. He misses. So very ineffective turn for him. Hooray! Oh, he gets to make a will save at the end of his turn. And he's still blind. Out of his eye. Yep, he's still blind. He failed. Huzzah. And now it's Kiki's turn. Hey, you guys have done a good job of shutting it down. I don't know how you guys are gonna kill it yet, though. Yeah, that's. We're, we're uh... gonna we're gonna nickel and dime it. <laughs> All right. Um. I'm I'm just gonna roll a skill check and you can you can answer this however you want, but does it look aquatic at all to Tiki? Uh not even a little bit. I will cast <laughs> a spell. Okay. Uh I think I know what spell it is. Yeah, this is this is one of those times. Oh, I have to touch it. Okay, uh, I will cast, and then, wait, do I have to land cast and move? target touch? Hold on. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I'm ready to move yet, so I think I'm just gonna... Hold the charge? I think so, yes. I'm gonna hold the charge, and if it looks hopeless, I might deliver it. Okay, I mean, it's still blind and prone right now, so... If yeah, you wanted to, be the best time to do. I, I mean, I guess that's true. It probably is. Um, and it's pretty pissed off at me. Yeah. Okay, I'll deliver it. Of course, I should have made you make the decision beforehand, because... Now you've seen the roll, <laughs> that might factor in. Well, it's still you know that it's... whether or not it succeeds, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... Um... Wait, what's it that? It does one? hit its... T I guess that was my roll, yeah. This is yeah, really that... funny if it fails that save. Yeah. It does hit, but unfortunately it doesn't overcome its spell resistance. Mm -hmm. Ah. Damn this spell oh, resistance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, oh, well. making it like suffocate is pretty cruel and kinda this cool. This thing looks cruel though, so Yeah, but it's it's a demon bear mm -hmm. thing, probably. I mean you guys don't know for sure because everyone failed their knowledge planes check, so maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a really weird bear. Hold on, not everyone has failed their knowledge check yet. Oh, knowledge fighter. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this uh, yeah. thing has to die, so do whatever you can to kill. <laughs> uh, Kale, your turn. Okay. You still have Shocking Grasp. I think I have this, um... 
Oh, yeah, I miscategorized my ring of protection. Oops. Um, why isn't that changing? Whatever, I'll fix it later. All right, yeah, I'm going to... So I would get three attacks then? Uh, with haste, you'd get... Potentially, depending on how you do it, you could get three attacks. Um, just delivering through the weapon, though, I don't necessarily get a free attack, it, right? You don't get that's a free correct. attack unless, unless you, you cast a spell that turn. That's yeah. okay. Alright, that's what I was making sure. Alright. But you can do your spell combat in either order, so I mean, potentially you could do the attack and then cast a spell if you get rid of, if you hit something. Right. But you do have to decide so... if you're doing spell combat right away because the penalty needs to no, apply, not. so... You're just going to do two attacks then? Uh, delivering it through scimitar. Yeah, of course. You don't even have to like say that. You can just be like, I attack, and it's if it hits, it's gonna automatically deliver it. Uh -huh. Um, so I'm clicking the button. Did you break roll twenty again? I don't know. I need to, whatever. Click. Oh, there it goes. Um, it looks like you do confirm a crit on it. Um, so that damage shocking. will happen. Now for the shocking damage, first off, you're going to have to roll a spell resistance check. Alright. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Spell resistance check. It's caster level. Yeah, I'm the getting there. Caster level check. With uh, I'm navigating any, like, my sheet. Spell pen bonuses you might have or something. Okay, so you get you hit it with a crit, and you do overcome the spell resistance. All right. right. So ten d six. See, the scimitar damage does a little bit less damage than normal because of its dr. And you see this electricity kind of shoot through its body, but you realize it does nothing. Go figure. Immune to electricity. Mm-hmm. Immune to electricity. Would have been useful to pass the knowledge planes, but you would have yeah, known before. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Um, so what do you do? You still have a move action, or you can do a second attack since you have haste. Yeah, I'm doing my second attack. Okay. Uh, you hit it again, and it looks like you barely do anything, but you did do... You did scratch it a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna unless take a uh, step back. Unless your weapon has any sort of special properties. No. Okay. I need to fix these to where... Uh, they can. I think they can't by default. You have to take certain Arcana or something. Because I know um, um, Star Fox's character does that like all the time. Like he makes he makes his weapon holy holy a lot, and but I think he has like a specific ma like Magus Arcana or something that lets him do it. Right. I am going to recall a spell though. It's just level one. As a swift action. Yeah. And that's my job. Oh, okay. And you're a spontaneous caster, so that just gets you the slot back, basically, yeah? Yes, You can do whatever you want with it. Alright, um... Alright, Amber, it's your turn. So you now know oh. this thing is not affected by electricity. Yeah. Uh, not that I have any electricity. I'm going to assume that it's not easily affected by most uh, energies. Not that I have much energy output. I've already used my damage spell, which is haste. <laughs> oh, Aaron. 
Why? Oh my god. Haste is a damage spell. If, what was the magic missile? <laughs> <laughs> That's not, not a damage, damage spell, spell, apparently. <laughs> <a> minimal <laughs> damage spell. <laughs> it didn't do any damage, so it's not a damage spell. Uh, <laughs> you know, you could use it for with certain. Keep throwing um... magic missiles at it. I, I'm okay. casting magic missile again. Okay. Uh, spells cast a level check. Nope. Oh nope. man. Good I have a plan if it starts beating the shit out of us, but it hasn't been doing that Dimension yet. Dimension door. No, I don't have that spell yet. I'll have that next level. Actually, I think the level after that, I get it for free, I think. Oh, part of your thing? Uh, your bloodline? Yeah, I get it at uh, oh, level sounds... 9 for free. Do you do anything else this turn, or just the magic missile? I do the magic missile, and I'll I'll keep trying to keep myself hidden. It's blind, so maybe maybe it'll work out. I stay hidden in the bush. Okay. If somebody uh, else is watching turn. me, then they can see me, like my party. All right, Brugar, what are you gonna do about this thing? I'm gonna smack. I'm gonna initiate smack that dot ef. Okay. Except I'm gonna throw in power attack and combat expertise. That's a minus four in total, but it also has a minus four. It does. So it cancels out. It has worse than a minus four, actually, because it's uh, also blind. Yeah, it's blind yeah. still. All right. If we were on a fans of ground, I'd say hit the flat footed button. You know what? If you're any good at go. writing a API shit, you can actually make your own flat footed button, Pluto. And a turn order. Well, I'm, I'm not good at that stuff. Well, so. Okay. The options list? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's Next see. First, pennant. first attack hits. Uh, does not confirm, I don't think. No, it does not confirm. But, and the second attack also hits. So, but right. it doesn't look like you did very much damage. You did a little bit of damage, but not very much. I'm hurting it, though. I'm making it feel pain. You're making it feel but annoyed. Does it like it? All right. It probably does not. Like it. Yes. On its turn, it's just gonna keep attacking Brugar, I think. Yeah. I'm probably too small to notice. So. Let's gonna do the bite first, as per usual. This larger than life dwarf in this tiny ass. Oh wait, lab. sorry, that's actually a twenty-six, but I think that's still does a twenty-six hit? Nope. My AC is twenty-eight Wait. now with combat expertise. Because of combat yeah. expertise. It's, okay, so it misses. It increase There's a twenty-five would miss as well then, and so he misses with all three of his attacks. I have, yep, I've, I've tanked it up. I've gotten into turtle stamp. Yep. Uh, I guess I make another refill, or will save. Uh, nope, that's not gonna do it. It's still blind. So, uh, Tiki. So, does it look like pretty beaten up or not very beaten up? It looks not very beat up at all. <laughs> okay. Looks like you guys have barely heard it. I am going to concentrate to cast a spell 
and try to deliver it. So I'll just roll that because I'm on that page and then I'll switch over here and roll that. I don't think I can. Um. Damn it. <laughs> no, it has it included in there. Has it yeah, oh, no, I, I see I what you mean. Yeah, she yeah. didn't concentrate. She loses the spell. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't just normal cast it. It is blind right now. Oh. Oh, I guess I don't need to concentrate then, huh? Yeah. You want me to just give you... I'll just give it to you as a freebie. Okay. <laughs> I just... You would know it's blind. It is my spell, after all. So it gets a will save, and it fails. <gasps> oh, shit. All right, boys and girls, we done here. Well, no. <laughs> you we might be. At least make it go rounds, I think. It does. Oh, that's right. It Fighting last... it uh, takes calm. double. It has to its con score until it starts suffering from this shit, but it's holding its breath for now. For seven mm -hmm. hours, he's got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it has like a uh, deep breath or whatever the fuck whales have. Yeah, there's like a, a rogue talent as well or something like that. It's like one of the dumber rogue talents you'll probably never take, except maybe if you're playing in like. Maybe if you're playing in like Skull and Shackles game. or something like that, but like, or mm -hmm. uh, you're playing in um, the new one, um, Ruins of Oslant, maybe you would take it then. Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah. but even then, it's like probably not. I don't know. I mean, it might be worth taking, but generally speaking, if you're going underwater, you're going to have like a water breathing spell or something. Mm hmm. I mean, uh, uh, anyway, you're level one. So after I deliver that, I will tell Brugard that it can't breathe air now. <laughs> okay. You just gotta hold it out until it it's con modifier, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, after <laughs> seven that. hours, whichever comes first. Mm -hmm. In seven hours, it can breathe air again, right? Yeah. Apparently, I can yeah. split this. So if I wanted to, like do this to a lot of people. Yeah. Like us, for example, mm -hmm. we were gonna go swimming, but if for any reason the water got drained, I don't think this is dismissible. So... Uh, that's correct. There's no D <laughs> next to it, so... Yep. Yeah, you just have to sit in the well, water. that's what and... the spell magic is for. Oh. <laughs> yeah, or, or do that. <laughs> Chance to fail dispelling my own shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I it's like not it. necessarily like good, it. but you could do it. Um, <laughs> okay, anything else? Any move actions? Uh, no. Um, I'll stay here. Okay. Kale. You know, All right, shotgun grasp so isn't going to work. That is not. You... So I'm going to cast uh, Vampiric Touch. Ooh, okay. It's a pretty good spell. Come on. Holy shit, this is so slow. And five foot step up. I didn't think about it being blind, but whatever. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. You can do the five foot step in any order. Yep. You doing spell combat, yeah. or are you just going to do just the attack? Uh, just the attack. Okay. That hits. Alright, um... Go ahead and do the spell, the caster level check. Yep. And you fail to get through its caster level, or its spell resistance. Damn. Okay. It's gonna be a slog. I feel like. Oh my gosh. Uh, I feel like we were supposed this to run away from smalls. this thing. Brugard's like but, something so... that can kind of hit back. Uh yeah, I'll just like, Brugar, it attack it again. Why not? Grapple it, pin it, and let's tie it up and let it die. 
Uh, well, you wouldn't get another attack anyway because you didn't do a normal attack action. You just you did the free attack from casting the Tyric Touch, and you didn't do spell combat. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yes. Yeah. 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 That but, would be pretty um, sweet. Ryza is going to use Ghost Sound. And okay. It's going. Wait. It like can't see right because it's blind. It is blind still, yeah. It's rolled um, pretty bad on its saves. It's going to be a like a sound of a person here. Oh, okay. Um, it would sound. It, it actually sound like a. Eight people. No, twelve people. Whatever, whatever. It sounds uh, like there's twelve people standing in one square. Like just in this area <laughs> over here. Yeah. Gotcha. You make it sound like there's like a troop of people running in there. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to give this thing as bad a day as possible. Yeah. Well, it's blind. It might think I should attack that. Um. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's particularly intelligent. Yeah, nobody we knows don't know anything very about this. much about this thing. Um, it nobody lasts knows anything about rounds, this stupid but... thing. Okay. I know that it can be tripped. Now, uh, they make just it Amber's turn. Send, uh, what should I call it? Uh, Mermaids at us. Do you think that'll right, so stop they're... the the trip master? Yeah, I think that'll stop the uh, you from tripping then. Yeah, I think things being immune to being tripped are pretty good against people tripping. You probably just do something else to them though. You just be like I'm just gonna oh, bull rush them around. Would... <laughs> I'm just gonna bull <laughs> rush them around and stuff. Oh, is it my turn? Uh, well. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I want my level 1 spells for anything else? I don't know, it's the evening right now, and you guys are close to a nah. safe... I have lots of whatever. spells, let's keep Magic Missile in. <laughs> nope. No, telekinesis? Nope. Okay, the level's that spell is 4, isn't it, for the mountain? 5, I think? If I was on <laughs> <and> a <laughs> grappler, no I would. I can, like, wrestle normal people. A, a fiery bear is a bit of a tall order. <laughs> yeah. Kale's a little bit puny when it comes to wrestling. Mm -hmm. Alright, Brugard's your turn again. I'ma smash it. <laughs> okay. I'ma I'm keep hammering away at it. I'm gonna power attack and combat expertise again. Maybe I'll get that crit. You almost did earlier. Um, looks like you get one single hit. For At least I do one effective. point of damage minimum. I just have to hit yeah. it like a hundred more times. <laughs> and it will die. Yeah. We Either that or it'll suffocate. About when it's no longer blind. Well, Pluto knows how many rounds this can last. <laughs> I sure do. It's first turn since That's my turn, though. it's since it started suffocating, basically. Um. Well, it hasn't had any luck hitting Brugar, but it did notice this other guy come over and try to hit it. So it's gonna turn and swing at uh at Kale. So first it's going to try to bite, try to do a bite attack on you. Does a 17 hit? I'm guessing no, but maybe. No. Dang, there was a chance. Uh, it's going to try to claw you now. Chance for critical. Does that yes. confirm a crit? Okay, but it has to roll a concealment. One is going to go yep, through concealment. concealment. Two is not. 
failed because of concealment. <clears throat> it's gonna do one last claw attack at you. Hail the duck. Uh, this time it hits through concealment, but fortunately for you, it's not a crit. So it's gonna do some claw damages. It takes 16 damage. It's also going to attempt to grab you now that it's hit you with a claw. Um, no, so I think no. it gets some penalties to its CMB because of being blind. No. And I think that still has to. Does it still have to make the concealment check on the, that grapple? Um, I think technically it does. Well, no, I don't think so because he already landed the hit and the hit. Because he already landed the, the hit. hit, right? Yeah, I feel like that's how yeah, the grab is free it. on the hit. Yeah. I mean, it is a free action without provoking, but let's see here. I'm just going to rule he doesn't have to make concealment for the grab. Well, I mean, yeah, that's what makes sense to me. He hit him. It makes the most sense. Yeah, it makes the most sense. Um, but he does have penalties for being uh, blind just because he has lower... I think his CMB takes into account his dex modifier as well, or is am I wrong on that? It No, CMB doesn't. No, CMD does. That's CMB doesn't. On okay, so it's the same. Strength and base attack. Yeah, so it's actually going to be... A 34 versus your CMD. Does that does that beat your CMD? Yes. Kale? Okay, it has you grappled. The plus side for everyone else is it's also grappled now. So, I mean... Wait a minute. Oh, He's yes, I'm going to free. go walk over with my cold iron dagger and start dealing damage to it. Oh, wait, I need a good weapon. Probably should. There we go. I'll just do those icons for being grappled. Um... So it has you grappled now, and that is its turn. Oh, it needs to make a will save. It's going to try to not be blind anymore. Um, nope, it's still blind. Oh, it also needs to make a will save to resist the, uh, to disbelieve the sounds. Only if it interacts with it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so it hears sounds there, it just doesn't care. Because they're already surrounded by, like, a bunch of people, so it's like, eh, whatever, more people. It's hitting the things that are that are hurting it. Uh, Tiki. Let's see. So it still looks like it's blind. And that's probably going to go on for a while longer. Yeah, you got like two more rounds, I think, right? Yeah. Well... But ten, up to, at least. Unless it saves. I didn't it on the first round, I did it on the second round, I think. Wait, did I? I did not... No, no, no. Anyways. Um... I think that's correct. You did forbid action the first round. Yeah. So maybe it's got... Three Does more rounds, actually. Does look hurt? I mean, uh, yeah, my stamina's been worn down a bit. Not much. He got clawed by this thing. Um, and he got if slammed he into the wall, bar, too. It's, no. like, at about 60%. 60, okay. Okay, I guess Tiki actually can go up on that wall because she's got a climb speed. Because I'm at <laughs> 49 out of 81. I climb up over on the wall, and I... Touch uh, Brugar with a moderate heal. Okay. He gets healed for a little bit. Is that my crypt model? For a moderate amount, you might say. <laughs> her, her. It's All right, I'll take that. Roll, but, uh, well, uh, still no Zedurium either, huh? Yes, not. If he yeah, does show up, I guess. I guess if he does show up, we'll be like, Philippe got bored and showed up. I'm going with the kidnap story. <laughs> that was a ransom move. <laughs> yeah, he got he kidnapped by a toddler. He just ambles through, like, the woods. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, guys I got home. lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Philippe would be remarkably useful in this combat. No. He can pass off crit. But he'd be he could pass off a That's crit. True. And then the crit, and then Brugar, Brugar has like a multi, like a times three crit multiplier or something, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, yeah, that'd be pretty useful. Uh, all right, Kale's turn then. Yeah. Um... You're grappled right now. Still do most things, though. You take a standard action and try to get out with Escape Artist or uh, Opposed CMB check. Uh, but you can also just do any other That's actions besides moving. not going to happen anytime soon. If you want to cast a spell, though, you're going to have to make a concentration check. Which you're not also, you, also there's spell. certain spells you can't even cast. Like, you can't cast anything that has a somatic component, I think. And uh, you can't cast anything with a material component if you don't have the material component like on hand already. Although I think you might have a shoe materials. I'm not 100% sure on that. I can't remember mm -hmm. if your archetype gave it to you or not. I guess, I don't think it did. I think I don't remember that. So you probably can't cast Can spells. I... <laughs> but you can do a full attack action. You just have the grapple yeah. penalty. Make sure that's applying to my sheet. Conditions grappled. They're not in alphabetical order. <laughs> uh, my haste is still on. It yeah. is. Haste is still on until uh, the end of my turn on round seven. Um, let's see here. It looks like both those hit and do a minimum amount of damage. Oh, you know what? I've been missing out on an attack each round. I forgot I had haste. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that... <laughs> well, that's, that's your fault. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I wasn't paying enough attention to your attack rolls to point that out to you either. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, Alright, so you do a little bit of damage, and I'm guessing that's your turn? Or I guess you still have your familiar. Yep. Does, does she do anything? Or familiar he, or does jack squat. Okay. The fake army of... People continue stomping or whatever they Amber's doing. going to ready in action yep. until uh, Kale is let go. Uh, okay. To cast a spell. It's an interesting choice. Uh, Bruger, your turn. Okay. I'm going to. I'm not going to combat expertise anymore because this thing's not. This is going after Kale, so I gotta. I gotta get it back to its attention. Okay. And I'm going to full round with the haste attack this time, but with power attack. And he is not flanking it anymore, correct? That He's is correct. My but he is grapple. Okay. He has the grapple condition, so that'll probably a little bit less work out to be about the same. Yeah. All right, so here goes. Uh, this should be three attacks. Come on for a crit. Fishing for crits. Uh, oh, it's a one. Yeah, but you got that nat 20 at least. I did. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I think, though, because he's got the grapple condition on, in this case, he's still flat-footed. That that actually hits. All three hit. All three hit. I had some damage. So you do a little bit of damage to it. I I ring my hammer on its hide, and I say, "Oi! I'm the one you're supposed to be fighting." Okay. That's yeah, I know. Eight whole damage for a full attack action. I'm doing the most damage. You are. On its turn, it's still blind, so it actually it was not going to let go of the grapple this time. Um, it's planning to oh, hold on. Yeah, because yeah, it, it can actually... Yeah, it can actually maintain a grapple a lot easier than it can hit while it's blind. So, let's see. There's like a bonus Come on, for maintaining what? the grapple. 
It's plus five. Yep. So I'm pretty sure 45 maintains its grapple. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to use its uh grapple uh maintaining to do some damage to you as well. Um. I don't think it's actually hitting both its bite, but it's going to get to use its bite this time. No. So you take 11 damage. And that's, How are you that's looking, all it does. Gail? Just maintains its grapple. Not very good. All right, I'm going to send in the... I'm going to throw the frog your way. The medic frog. <laughs> Tiki's your turn. Uh, can I, since it didn't let go, can I choose to, uh, not do my readied action and have it, like... No, after? actually. That's... Yeah, you... That's the downside to readied actions. That's why counterspelling's not very good as well. That's why you should say things like, I'll go after it, and then decide what to do at that point or something. Or if you're trying to Well, he wanted to intervene him. because he was he was assuming that oh, I need to make a will save again. Sorry, let me roll. It's will save. Mm, okay. What was the DC on uh, Glare Dust so again? Oh, uh, 18. I think that beats it. Or was it 17? Or was check. it 17? 17. It meets. Oh, it is finally it is finally no longer blind. At the end of this turn. But that's the end of its turn, so... Uh, yep. Anyway, what do you do now, Tiki? Okay. So, I recognize it can see again. But I'm still hasted, though, right? Uh... Yeah. That's correct, yep. I will risk... Wait, is he grappling? He's still grappling. Okay. He's still He's grappling. Still grappling. I will make my way over here. Okay. Unless he's got some weird tentacle shit. I will cast... Nope. <laughs> and I've seen monsters. They exist. Um, I will cast... A moderate heal. On Kale. Okay, Kale gets healed for 20. That's a good one. Yeah. And Kale's now under the protection of evil. Yep. Huh. And it's He's now under Kale's the turn. Of so, evil. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm now evil frog, by the way. <laughs> FYI, okay. What does uh, the evil give me? The protection? Protection from evil gives you a plus uh, two bonus, uh, deflection bonus, which is probably going to be. And a plus two resistance. It's a plus bonus. one to AC and a plus one. To, Effectively, probably. Uh, yeah. Since you have a ring of deflect, you have a ring yeah. deflection bonus from your ring and a resistance bonus from your yeah. uh, cloak. It's going to effectively work out well, as a yeah, plus one. one. Yeah. Right. All right. Um. I'm gonna rage. Okay. And then I'm going to fight it. Let's see if my rage buff works. Okay. Looks like you hit it once and did not confirm the crit. Don't worry, we're going to crit it eventually. <laughs> it takes, uh... 
Yeah, I actually don't think it takes any damage from that because you don't get through its DR. So you just flail helplessly against this thing as it's uh, grappling you. Alright. Anything else? Uh, anything your familiar does? Uh, familiar breathes on it. Oh, okay. That's the fortitude save? Yeah. Roll a one. Mm, yeah, no, one. Okay, Amber's turn. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep doing this uh, ready to action for one more round. It's no longer blind. Maybe it'll have increased. Uh... Aggression. Yeah. Aggression. Okay. Round seven. I think this is the last round of haste. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Brugar. All right, I'm gonna full round it with power attack. Come on, crit. I can feel it. It, it wants to happen. Uh, nope. But you do hit it once. Correct. That'll be my turn. Alright then. On its turn, it is indeed going to trigger your ready to action. So it lets go of... Uh, it lets go... So of, I am uh, ca uh, casting Create Pit. Okay. So it needs to give me a reflex save. DC 18. All right, that sounds pretty pretty strong. Uh, its reflex save is okay. It passes. I think. Oh shit! Well, so there's it, a pit it with grease in there, but it's gonna hop out of the way. Yeah. I'm guessing that um, doesn't it have to make a acrobatic being... save. Uh, or, never mind. No, uh, I'm wrong. That was a reflex save. Pit now. Yeah, yeah. Now there's a pit with grease in it. Uh, all right. So it does that. Uh, I think that's a free movement it gets to do though. So it still can do a full attack action. So it's going to. It's going to attempt to get attack Kale again. Although it's still prone, technically, isn't it? How does that work? Yeah. I guess it I just guess rolls out of the way. <laughs> I guess it just rolls out of the way of the pit. <laughs> well, it's going to attempt to stand up this time, so he uh -huh. provokes. I might be able to trip it. Where's my trip button? It's a lot lower this time. I think I have to hit a 20 on it. But I'm gonna try. Yeah, still has the power attack penalty as well, right? Yeah, the penalty. Yeah, I was I was swinging with a plus 20 last time because of the flanking stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think I have to 20 this. But hey, 5% chance. I felt that crit coming. Maybe it'll happen on the trip. Uh, no. no, doesn't look like. He's gonna attempt to bite Kale again. Now that he's actually no, he's gonna yeah, he's gonna attempt he's gonna attempt to claw actually. I th uh, in this case, uh, no, he'll he'll do a bite. I I, I changed my mind again. I, I'm like alternating between the two. <laughs> I can't decide. He's got so many options. Uh, he's gonna attempt to to bite. Does a twenty five hit Kale? Make sure you remove the grapple condition if you still have that on there. Yeah, because I'm raging. Oh, okay. So. I think that's right, yeah. Hits you for 15 damage. And then he's gonna 5 foot step. 
away from the pit. Damn, I should have cast a grease on myself while grappled. Uh, yeah. It would have been hard to cast it while grappled, though, is the problem. For Ryza. Oh, Ryza has the ability. Yeah, you could have had Ryza do it. Yep, that would have been a pretty good idea if you wanted to get out of the grapple. It gives you a plus 10 bonus. It's like the it's like the shitty like level one version of liberating command, right? <laughs> yeah. Liberating command um, is level one, but it's better at level but one it's, than liberating command is at level one. That's true. Also, liberating command isn't on the wizard spell list, so. Uh, Tiki's turn now. Oh, I gotta set Amber now to just before Tiki. Um... I will cast... Or just before the bear thing, actually. I will five foot step back. And... Oh, maybe not there. I will five foot step here. And cast forbid action and say, Do not move. Stay in one spot. You're forbidding it from moving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last one. Uh, does this allow spell resistance? Yes, so it fails to overcome its spell resistance. Damn. He's low roll. Its spell resistance is kind of bonkers. It's got pretty high spell resistance, yeah. This thing's a beast. I wouldn't have been surprised if you guys just like ran away from it if you rolled really high on the knowledge check. Part of it's because you guys no. don't actually know what you guys are getting into, but... We're gonna suffocate. <laughs> you guys might. I mean, it's it's been three rounds since I got hit by that, I think. Um, Alright, Kale, your turn. You have haste still. You're next to a pit. And I'm raging. And you're raging. Sucks I can't spell cast while raging. There's like feats that let you do it, I think, but yeah. It's a sunken cost though. Um. Fuck. I can only use the haste on a full round attack though, right? That's correct. That's correct, right, and you so... don't want to be standing next to the pit, otherwise you might fall in. Right, right. Yeah, every turn you end next to the pit. You get to make a save. To, again, um, to Alright, so I'm going to unrage, which causes me to become fatigued. What happens if, you, uh, oh. if you're if you grappled next to the pit? <laughs> I guess they just let go of you if you fall in. Oh shit, I didn't actually take that damage because that was against my... Wait, was that against my temporary damage? No, you... the spell resistance, you never got temp hit points. And you were oh no, you weren't raging when you took damage last. Yeah, or right. no, this most recent one you were. This most recent one yeah. you were though. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that. Was... Some of that would go to but your temp health for like raging. A minute. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. Just hold on. Um, I'm fatigued, and I'm going to move. That's not move. I'm going to move over here, away from pit. That's yeah, I can move there. Okay. Um, minus 14, that means I have 25 in damage. Okay, that determines what I was going to do. And I'm going to cast Mirror Image. Okay, that's probably a good idea. So now they can see again. Uh, the haste buff wears off, and it's now round eight, and it's now Brugar's turn. I tell the others that we just got to keep it busy, and I need, um, he tells everybody that I'm going to try and get around it so I can push it into the pit. And before I move, I'm going to take a standard action to take the total defense action, and then I'm going to move. Okay. To here, I can occupy the square. It's going to attempt to first, though, do a grab on you or a, a claw attack on you. Okay. 
36 hit. That does hit. And... Oh man, these rolls. So I think it actually grabs you back over here. Oh yeah. Um... Oh shit, three no. images. Here's, I guess, here's a question though. If you end a turn while grappled next to the pit, how does that work? <laughs> oh, he's got me grappled. I think he's got grapple. He's just, he's not gonna, he's at no danger of falling in yet. He's at no, he's, yeah, he's at no danger of falling in. He's stuck in. there. I think, yeah, so I think, I think he's fine. Uh, yeah. for now. So. I'm pretty sure he's fine. Uh, And Brogar takes 14 damage. So, they're both grappled now. Um, That's my turn. Yep. Now it's Amber's turn. I'm a sorcerer, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Yeah, no, I'm just making another <laughs> Throw him in the pit! Okay. And I'm waiting for him to release Brugar. Okay, stand. No, just do it. Ready to action. Okay. On his turn, pit. he he releases Brugar, and triggers your ready I'm to action. I'm making another pit. Okay. Can only go one direction. Uh, oh, I think well. he says he's going to jump out of the way of the pit. Are oh, these no, bushes? Is it a random direction, though? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's to pick. Oh, shit. And now, he's mad at, and now he's mad at you. He's gonna turn to you. Well, oh, rip me. He's gonna attempt to... He's gonna... I think he's... Let's see here. What's his base attack bonus? I think he might actually use power attack. Nah, I haven't been using it at all. I'll just continue not attacking. Not yet, at least. Uh, 35 for the bite. Yeah, that is. 14 damage from his bite. That hit. Uh, yep, that hits as well. And then I'm going to do the other claw. Oh my god. Okay, two claws hit. Uh, I'm just going to roll all the damage because he also has rend as well. Uh -oh. Um, should we leave? So he does... Uh... 36 more damage across I'm bleeding out. and a rend. Oh, no. You're bleeding out. Amber! So you guys see this thing just maul Amber. Also, he grabs you on the last one. Oh no, he's got a hold of her. But then let's go as a free action. Ah. Well, he has to make a reflex save. Yeah. He does. Right, he ends his turn next to the pit. Um. So. Maybe Amber will have the last laugh. <laughs> What's uh? It's still the same, but he it's it's a little bit easier because I don't remember the. I'm just gonna roll a normal reflex save. Uh huh. Mm. <sighs> What's Story, the? Amber. Your death will not be in. Wait, what was the DC? Is it just two? The normal lower? DC is eighteen, but since he uh, is not standing on it, he gets a plus two, so he meets. Oh really? He meets then. Yeah, he meets the DC. Oh. I believe in Tiki. Right. She should be able to stabilize, right? She has that spell prepared. Right, Tiki. What, the level zero spell stabilize? Yeah. Yeah, is that an on touch? Uh, I think yeah, it's range. 30 feet. I, I think it's a 30 foot range. range. 40, okay. Yeah, I will. Or I can just. Well, he might grab me. I'm still hasted. 
No, you're not. Uh, we're not hasty anymore. Yeah, the hate was four off. Okay, I will stabilize Amber and... Uh... Move... Over here. Are you sure you want to move right there? I don't know. That's, that's a hit. That. Yeah, that's no, a actually, hit. Amber, or Tiki might not care as much about the pick, because she can just climb out. Well, yeah. I don't oh, know yeah, that's true. Though. Um, the pink's a pick. What is the red? <laughs> you would still think she risks slipping and falling. The red the is red a ghost is... sound, which actually is gone Phantom by now, I think. Sound. Yeah, oh. it's gone now. Yeah, that was just the sound of people, like, walking around and shit. Like, it was just the sound of people being there. Like, it was supposed to trick the guy while he was blind. Alright, uh, then I'm going to pass Kale and say, use the pits, and, um, I will come back over here. Um, how bleeding out is Amber? She's not bleeding out at all anymore. She's, She's stable. not bleeding but... out anymore. Oh. But she looks pretty bad. Like, she's unconscious. <laughs> Alright. Um. What are you gonna do about demon murder bear? I'm gonna push into a pit. That's my plan. Um... Do I think Bear will keep attacking Amber to kill her? Is the question. Uh, I don't know. You could sense motive. You can yeah, pose a threat motive. to it so that it doesn't. Mm, is my sense motive... Jeez, I'm not even going... Okay, whatever. I know I'm saying so... this to Omegas, but do you have a ranged weapon? And you can draw it to you? <laughs> <laughs> Or a ray? Um, you think you think it wants to murder all of you guys, and you do think that Amber might be in danger. Okay. Well then, um. This sucks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Cast Vanish, but I'm gonna give the charge to Ryza. And is going to... Fly to Amber and touch her. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> so, as you're doing this, it gets to about here. Oops. Right? Flying yeah. over? And it provokes an attack opportunity. Okay. This thing swats at it. Actually, no, it's going to bite. There's a 20 hit Ryza. Let me give you that answer. Yes, it meets. Okay. Ryza takes 11 damage. Now you can go ahead and continue your move. Oh, yeah. it, it can see invisibility, basically. Or at least you could see Ryza when she was invisible. And just totally just like didn't give a shit. No, no, no. He was casting it on 
He was casting. He was letting Ryza deliver the touch spell. Yeah. Except Ryza's I think oh, vanish is a self spell. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it is a no it says vanish. Creature, yeah. Creature, yeah. You can do it's vanish on people. Touch. Oh, it is creature touch. Yeah. So yep. that's okay. Ryza's so is trying to make Amber invisible. Oh well, I tipped my hand. Okay, Amber's invisible. <laughs> Well, it attacks anyways. Dang. <laughs> it does do its attack opportunity on Ryza, though. So Amber disappears. Um. Mm-hmm. Okay. I wonder if Tiki knows what happened. I'm gonna spell craft. Was it spell craft because he was casting? Oh, I might not know. Tiki's heart starts thumping a little bit. Where's Amber? Yeah, you wouldn't know that. Yeah, you just see Amber disappear. Except she doesn't, because she's blind. Well, I can see that far. 60 feet, right? Yeah, you can see. Alright, do you anything else? Yeah. Any move actions? Yeah, I'm g going to withdraw level 1 spell, but that's where I'm staying. Okay. Round 9, uh, Brugar. I am going to, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is one move for me. I'm okay. in the pit. I'm going to take a total defense action and raise my shield up to defend my my teammates here. And that's going to be my turn. Hmm. Okay. You know, I was telling myself if nobody ran into it, I was going to have a coup de gras, Amber. But I won't do but that. But now it cannot see her. Uh, actually, it can because it, it has it can see invisibility. Oh really? Okay. Well, we didn't know. That. Yeah, it's know gonna that. it's gonna instead go after Brugar though. Wait, it was right here. So I can't five foot step. It has to move. Let's see here. I think it's gonna use, it's gonna move up and use awesome blow. Okay. On Brugar. Thirty four beat your CMD. Yes. All right. So it's gonna knock you. Uh, I believe awesome blow is ten feet. I think so. It's base ten feet. It's gonna knock you uh, to the pink pit. So, so not as, only is he prone, but he's on grease, right? Well, I don't think uh, the grease is even there anymore. The grease might have worn grease, off by now. It lasts for seven minutes. Oh, well, well yeah, it's still there. The way the pit like works that. is it, the, the pit is like an extra dimensional, like, it opens up a, it's like the pit is not actually there. So the it's grease like might just not be there space, anymore so since the, the pit was on the there. same. Yeah, I think might. the grease still is there. The way I envision it is the extra dimensional spaces between like the normal ground level and the bottom of the pit ground level. And I mean, it I just figure the lowers grease, the ground. I figure the grease just falls into the pit the same way a person would, so there's just a yeah, puddle of grease at the bottom of the pit now. Like it instantaneously lowers the ground and creates space for which things can, you know fall into it. Uh, but it has to make a reflex save still. It does. So Brugar takes 12 damage and 9 damage from falling and is prone at the bottom of a pit now. Um, okay. But it does get to make another reflex save. And I think it fails this ah, time. It failed! Now we're both in a... So it falls into the pit. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this damage. Okay. It's my pit. I should have made you roll for damage too. Damages. 
Brugar can see the thing losing its footing as he gets as he sails through the air, and it's like a long echoing ha ha. <laughs> yeah. Brugar will be out of his pit first, um... unless it has climb speed. I'm going to or like ridiculous climb modifiers. Cast a spell. I'm we're blowing all our spells on this guy. Well, at least I am. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, where is that button? Here. Ah, there we go. Maybe I can stagger it. Oh, that's a nice castle little chip. Hey, finally. Uh, but it does still get to make a will save to only be affected by it for one round, I think. Is that how that works? Uh, each... Oh, he gets a well, will it's save. a it's a fail, and it's... Yeah. Looks like it failed the will save. Yay, it's staggered. <laughs> I'm yep. sure it's going to resist the damage, but... Or, at, actually, that's additional on top of the fall damage. It adds on to the mm. fall damage, yeah. Small. But fall damage, though, isn't reduced by DR. Really? Mm. Even DR all or whatever? Hey, it's a little bit more hurt than it was before. And it's prone to the bottom of the pit. Uh, yep. It's also kind of Amber is unconscious. Yeah, fall damage is a weird kind of, like, physical base of damage. Like, you're, it's not... Like, nothing is applying pressure to it. It's its own body weight falling the distance is what's hurting it. It just had its so it gets... turn. That was its turn, yeah. So it's Tiki's t actual turn now. My actual turn. Okay. Um. So I watched Brewer fall down the pit. I don't think I can just do tells anything me... about that. Uh. You guys can pull me back. Do I do I have I have rope, don't I? I mean I have rope too. But I'm no, in the bottom no, of the pit. No no, I'm I'm gonna run well not run, but I'm gonna go as quick as I can. How can how, how fast can I keep go? Mm. Are you twenty? Twenty twenty speed. I think it's twenty more. I think she's twenty because of her armor. Darn. Okay, I'm gonna double move uh, to here. Okay. And I don't know where Amber is, but I'll be shouting like, Amber, Amber! <laughs> okay. Alright, Kale. Um, what would the caster stat for my familiar be? Charisma? Mm, I don't know. Whichever one's highest on that character probably is what it uses, most likely. That's usually how stat Well, I have a 26 work. intelligence. Right, and does it have a high wisdom or a high charisma? No. Then it's probably intelligence it uses. Let's see. Okay, so it depends. It, sor it casts spells as a sorcerer, so it uses charisma for that. It's a fairy dragon, right? Yeah. Okay, so its spells abilities are charisma based. Its breath weapon is constitution based. How is its int 26? Because of an archetype. Okay. It 
It's uh, which one is this? Dang, I was trying to figure out what the actual DC for Greece was. It should be uh, the spell level plus its charisma modifier. Yeah, it's fourteen if that's the case. Um, Rise of Cast Grease in the new pit. Oh, okay. Nah. It's already prone, so we need stone shape or something. So we just cover the pit up. That would be pretty good. This thing is not very acrobatic. Alright, uh, do you do anything? Yeah. I spent too much time doing that. Um, I'm going to... Well, we'll just try this. I'm going to cast Ray of Frost on it. Uh, can you see? It? Okay, I'm assuming Ryza flies up above the pit when she casts hers. But how do you? Oh right, yeah, it's Ray thirty across? feet down. Thirty okay, feet. Okay, never mind. Yep, can't do that. I'm going to shoot. Um, shoot. If I end my turn next to Brugar, you can potentially can fall get pit. out a rope fall if you out. have a rope. I do have a rope. Do that. I'm going to pull out a rope. And toss it down the pit. And hold yep. on to one end. Okay. Yep. Alright. Brugar, there's a rope for you. Obviously, so Tiki gonna... thinks Ha ha! Stand up and start <laughs> climbing out. I, I stand up. I put, um, you know, my... Well, I have to put my, like my weapon and shield away and then I I'm gonna start I I, I, I grab the rope and I just kinda okay. tug but I don't I can't start climbing. Okay. On this thing's turn it's going to stand up and it's gonna attempt to do a will save to break out of this the staggered condition. Yeah I guess to do a will save as a free action to get out of this apparently. And it does, so it's no longer staggered. Wait, but I think it's still... It was staggered that turn. It's still staggered for this turn, I think. So yeah. it's still... It still it's had done. to take... And it had to take a it's standard action a to step, step yeah. up, because... So, that's that's its turn. It, it stands up in the pit, in the grease. Okay. And, uh... Stagger early. Get you. Now it's a race between Brugar and this thing to get out of the pit. Alright, Tiki? So it doesn't have to make the acrobatics check to stand up within the grease. No, it doesn't have to. Do, not to stand up, but to start moving okay. out of it, it does. Okay. Correct. Because uh... like, even though this thing could probably climb this, I'm not saying it has a climb speed. The ground is below is still slippery, and I mean, hey, trying yep. to climb something while well, you have like a bad footing. We have is no really footing. Mm -hmm. Is that fair unless you have something like a rope, which you do. Yes, you would see it. See it, kind of. It probably actually flew like above the, or like yeah, kind rise of flew over move. towards. She'd fly over near there because she cast grease earlier. But yeah, she's still over there. Okay, I will cast cure, and then start. I'll I'll fall down to my knees and start feeling around until I I feel. Yeah, she's still her. where you saw her fall, so you'd find her. And when I find her, I'll deliver the spell. Okay. okay. Amber's back I'm in no positive. Negative. And if you want, you can also wake her up as part of that action if you want. I'll do that. I'll be like, Amber, Amber, yeah, is that you? Because <laughs> she's, she's not sure. It might not be Amber. You never know. Yeah, stranger things have happened. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, Kale, your turn. Um, assisting Brugar. Okay. And what about uh, Ryza? Does she do anything different? Ryza is going to fly back over to me. Okay. 
Round 11. So this thing has had Abel Log on it for like six turns, I think, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the way this combat's going, it might you might just have to wait for it to suffocate to death. <laughs> oh, willing to. I think that's what we're going to be doing. I'll watch it suffocate with <laughs> pleasure. Um, Brugar, it's your turn. I'm gonna start climbing out. Okay. Do you want me to roll, or because I have the rope there to help me? Uh, I think you probably have a good enough climb that it's an auto succeed. Uh, it is 30 feet, so I think you're not gonna be able to get out for two turns or something. It's like a DC 5 with a rope, right? Yeah, so I auto exceed, right? Yeah, so you just climb up halfway up the wall, basically. And uh, you should be able to get out next turn. Yep, that's my. The nice thing is that that four is in my full plate. I I actually put points into climb. Yeah. Good thing too. <laughs> um, Amber, you're oh, you're conscious now. Uh, I don't want to be hit by this thing anymore. Okay. Uh. So I am going to cast fly on myself. I'm going to go up 30 feet. Okay. Nobody sees this because you're invisible. Except Hopefully for it, maybe. It's apparently it sees invisible things. Yeah, you probably, yeah, probably feel the wind. She would be invisible for four more rounds or until she attacks. Mm-hmm. Alright, on its turn. First it has to make an acrobatics check. Uh, what does it get on an acrobatics check? It's, it's 10, right? bonuses. Yeah, it has to meet 10. If it fail, if it rolls like a 5 or lower, it actually falls prone again. Um, it... I don't think it has ranks. Yeah, it doesn't have ranks in it. So... It oh, fails to move. It just doesn't move. It just, it just doesn't move. It kind of slips around. Like, you see it kind of... Well, Amber, Amber <laughs> would see it from 30 feet up in the air, sees it, like, moving its feet on the ground in place, basically, and not actually moving anywhere. Um, like he's got, like, his, he's got, like, his arms kind of clenching at the, or his claws kind of clenching at the, like, at the, uh, walls, but his feet are just not able to get any, like, he's just, his feet are just sliding around, he's not able to get any lift off the ground. And he's going to do his uh, roar for the sonic damage. So everybody gets to make a reflex save. I am more than uh, sixty feet Even away. Even though from I'm me. like, I'm like in the pit. Uh, no, you're. I think you're fine. I think it's just gonna hit Riza, Kale, and Tiki. Uh, okay. So, reflex save. For um, Riza, Kale, and Tiki. Yeah, I'm making sure it rolls right. Yep. Holy shit. Add a plus one. Oh, no. You don't need to. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't know what's going on with my reflex save, but okay. There they go. Okay, Ryza and Kale both take 15 Ouch, damage. Hurt. And Tiki takes half of that. Uh, so, 7. That one was a loud roll. Yeah, this was much more ear-piercing than the first one. And that's its turn. Uh. Alright, Tiki, your turn. Oh, um, okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah, Amber flew away. She's alive. I guess she's fine then. Um. Uh. 
Uh, I'm gonna climb up onto this cliffside here. Double move. Okay. Okay, and you should be able to see down from there. You can see it. See it, like, failing to get out of the pit. Okay. And it's Kale's turn now. Okay. Um, that makes that 40. And that makes Ryza go down to, uh, 1 HP. <laughs> I'm going to kill that familiar. So, I'm you going probably to probably just have tell... her retreat. Yeah, Ryza's just going to fly. Have her go get um... Philippe for us. Oh my gosh. For, you know, yeah, whatever. Ryza's just going to fly uh, 60 feet up into the air. Okay. Actually, she's going to uh, double move and fly off. Uh, All right. Far. A Drake swoops down and kills her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, she's Damn, over Drake. there somewhere. Yeah, she flies away somewhere. Okay. Well, what do you do? I'm assisting Brugger. Right. Okay. Um, Brugger's turn. I'm assuming he climbs out the rest of the way out of the pit. Yeah. And I guess that's going to be it for me. Um, okay. I want to at least get over here so I don't fall back. Right. That's fine. All right, Amber. Amber's stun hurt. us with your actions. Uh, stun you with my actions? Uh, my actions are to not take any more damage this combat. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast uh, resist energy on myself. No more sonic damage. Okay. 20 sonic resistance. On its turn. It's going to attempt to do its acrobatics again. Uh, nope, it just flails around. It's going to oh, do another roll. It's going to do another sonic attack again. This time, I think Tiki, since she climbed up on the cliff, is far enough away now. But it's going to hit Brugar and uh, Kale. So reflex saves from those two. It'll either be twelve or six, depending on your save. So it's okay. It's using up full. its uh, it's using up its breath. And that's its turn. Brugar's pretty low on health now. He is, but uh, I mean that's just his stamina. <laughs> what was the save? <laughs> uh, it was the reflex. You just take you you pass, so you take six damage. Rise is oh, far enough away, she doesn't take any. Actually, on my turn... Right, move, I just double roll. I'm gonna right-click a button. Move. I want to move somewhere. I want to move over here. Okay. Same height. Okay. Uh, Tiki's turn. Oh, so you see this thing still flailing around in the grease. So it's still at the bottom then? Yep. Uh, what do I have? I have more of these. Okay, I will say... I guess this would be move because climb would be under the category of move. So I will say... Yep. Do not move and try to forbid its action. Okay. Hey, I got past a castor little chick, maybe. And you see it kind of tense up and not flail anymore. It stops flailing around. Oh shit. Then I will sigh with yeah, relief and roll start the moving. Okay. Uh to here. I'm kind of, like, hanging off the side of the cliff here. 
The dice have turned on. It's bound to happen. <laughs> All right. That's what it gets for rending me. <laughs> Kale's turn. Hey, at least it didn't coup de gras you. Mm. Oh yeah, it totally could have. I would have been dead mate. It saw a dwarf and it, it had to... The taunt was successful. Well... <laughs> it had to go after the perfect race. <laughs> exactly. Kale's not going to do anything. Okay. Brugard, you do anything? You're just gonna wait it out. He he does he does wait it out. But he's gonna move over here. Is Tiki? I can see Tiki, right? She's not invisible. Right. Nope. She's not. I move it's... over here near to Tiki, and he's he's like, ah, god damn thing is freaking loud. <laughs> and that's his. Just... Yeah, Amber. Well, since T Tiki saved my ass, I'm going to fly down uh, five feet above Tiki, and I am going to cast uh, Resist Energy Sonic on her. You have 20 Sonic Resist. Oh, thanks. You didn't need to do that, but thank you. Okay. On its turn, it literally does nothing. Well, he, Tiki's he turn. Okay if he wants. He could be like, you know what, I give up, guys. He can talk, if he's got telepathic... And we'll be like, well, <laughs> we have no way to not kill you, sorry. <laughs> He'd have to have telepathy, though, because he can't breathe. Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. Ryza could he have opens his mouth to talk, it. and then he dies. Whoops. That was my last breath. We could fill up the pit with create water. No, 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 no. <laughs> that um, would no, actually save help him, the though. Demon. Save him! Save the demon! I'm gonna save Brugar. <laughs> save demon murder bear! So I mean, I want you guys Brugar to save him. And say, uh, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> okay. Hooray. Let's Kale continue to not do anything. I like. He's going to join the party. Okay, you guys all camping out on the other side of the second pit. How long does Pink Pit last again? Uh, eight rounds from when I cast it. I think Pink Pit's going to be gone here soon. I think Pink Pit's uh, just about gone. Well, it wasn't the first or second round, was it? <laughs> no. So. It was the fifth round. Well, that's when I. Wait, was it the fifth round when I put my thing on? Black Pit's gonna be around till round uh, 16. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think this one's around till round 15 then, because you cast it one round before. I think. No, it was two rounds before it. It's the end of this round. Yep. Two. Yeah. Yeah, ready. Well, no, actually, no, because the way the ready to action ended up working, you triggered it immediately after you readied it, basically. So it was, it would have been around 15 then. So it's around there, it's still there for a little bit longer. Brugger, do you do anything this turn? Yeah, I go and look at my, at these two people. These are dwarves, right? Mm-hmm. I go and check out the dwarf. See if they're still alive. Okay. Um, and you get there, and it looks like one of them is still alive, and the other one's dead. Then I, 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 I pick him up, gently, and I call the others. I say, this lad's still alive! And that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Amber, do anything? Uh, 
And we'll make sure that if it gets out of the pit, it can't charge us. I'm going to create another pit. Oh, man. Just surround it with pit. I can't <laughs> quite do that. <laughs> but there's going to be a pit here. No charging us. Will you just expand the pits now? That's just like one long continuous pit? No, 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 no. Sort of? there's, well, the there's... pick one goes away. The pick one goes like... away, but there's there's space in between the pits. I mean... <laughs> right? There's like a hairline... It's weird and extra dimensional. There's a yeah, weird hairline extra -dimensional. thing between the two pits. Okay, that's... <laughs> well, I'll allow it. There's extra dimensional space between the pits. Okay. Um, alright then. And yeah, the end of that turn, the, other, the pink pit goes away. I think I know it's there for one more round, I guess. And I'm going to move some. I'm going to move back. Okay. On its turn, it can move again. Or can it? Rolling the dice, it can. Oh boy. What's the climb DC for, for Create Pit? Again. 20. Oh, well, it, uh, it starts climbing out of the pit then. I'm pretty sure. It gets halfway up the pit wall. Sorry, 25. Oh, well, I gotta roll then. Yep, it gets halfway up the okay, pit wall. It's okay. And it does like a double climb move, basically. Uh, Tiki's turn. <clears throat> you probably see like the top of its head starting to poke out of the like thing. You can see it's climbing out. I predict, guys, that we have three to four rounds. Tiki's gonna run over to I predict that we and... have, uh, about ten rounds left. You think it's con is that high? Maybe. Yeah. I think it's con is that high. Okay, well, we'll worry about its next moves next round. I'm going to um, pull out my wand and cure this guy Brugar is lifting up or pointing out. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> and this isn't no normal bear. <laughs> this is some sort of weird demon gorilla bear. Some demon gorilla bear murder machine. I guess that's it's fair. its arms are gonna look great. It's not great quite as bad as wall. the Coco Jaya. <laughs> oh no, Can yeah. Just the Coco Jaya yeah. would and then annihilate muscle. this thing. Yeah, so I just need to do con damage to it. Uh, so you no. did seven healing to Brugar, you said? Uh, no, no, to the the dwarf. That's to the dwarf, I, okay. Yeah. That Brugar's gotcha. holding. Okay. Do you wake him up too? No. I don't want to okay. freak him out. You just heal him. Okay, so he gets healed a little bit. Uh, Kayla, your turn. You can see this thing starting to climb out of the pit. Now I cast Ray of Frost on it. Alrighty then. I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know what I can do. You could do anything. It's not gonna necessarily work, but you can do You're it. You're a magus. Anything you want. You can't do anything but damage it. I'm gonna <laughs> cast Bear's Endurance on myself. Oh, well, you can buff just yourself. in case. There's always that. Okay. And then I'm gonna move over here. 
you feel more bear-like. Oh my gosh, the turn order tracker's in the way. I just want to get away from it. Alright then. Alright, Brugar. I'm gonna... Do I... It's... Has it cut gotten out of the pit yet? Not quite. It's still... You can see, like, its head kind of sticking up over the top of the pit. Because it's, like, big enough to. It's a large creature. But, uh, right. it's only, like, halfway out of the pit. Okay, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, set the guy down for now. Uh, carefully. And, uh, now that I see that he's been healed. And I, uh... I take my warhammer and my shield back out in a five foot step over here, telling the others that uh you know i'll I'll keep it busy okay that's my turn. amber I'm gonna tell you that's a stupid idea that we should flee when it gets out if it doesn't fall into the other pit, so I am going to uh no, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to cast haste on us. All right. Haste again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, haste again. I just want you guys to know uh, I had like a whole town thing and planned that we're not even going to get to. Eh. <laughs> oh well. We'll let uh, Let's... Leap actually experience the content. Yeah. Well, sometimes combats are slogs. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I was kind of expecting you guys to pass the knowledge check and then just be like, fuck that. Well, Lee is also one of our knowledge bots. Or Philippe, I mean? Philippe? Yeah, whatever. One well, of it us. just so happened Ryza rolled like a two. Mm. Yeah. And Amber rolled a four. Even though it hit me, it didn't hit me that hard, so it was on. <laughs> so, do you do any moves besides casting haste, or just that? Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna start running away. Bye. I'll say we can come back to it later after it's suffocated. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll go off the map. Knock it back down, Burger. Oh, you already had your turn. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's how I'm gonna <laughs> Amber's a wimp. Alright. On its turn, it's gonna continue climbing. Oh. Oh. Ooh, the... Oh, no, it's 25, not... right? So it yep. actually yep. doesn't quite get out of the pit. It's at the very... Like, it's the very top of it. It can almost scramble out, but it loses its footing a little bit. And doesn't make any progress at that last bit. So it's the very tip top of the pit, but not quite out yet. And it's now Tiki's turn. Alright, my favorite level 1 spell. Do not move. I don't know. It can do what it wants. Okay. It does whatever it wants. No. Kale? Do anything? You can see this guy about to get out of the pit. Do I do anything? Good question. Um, I don't have any spells that can really do anything. Without touching it. I mean, I can fireball it, but I'm sure it's immune to fire. Uh, might not be immune. It might only be resistant to. Yeah. Let's try it. Um. My 680 range on fireball. Okay. And uh, 20 foot radius. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's nothing even anywhere close to it. The poor tree. Besides some. Tr I mean, it might be a tree ant. You yeah. Know. It might. It might set a tree on fire. The tree ants like, hey, I'm 
sleeping here. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try clicking my spell button and hope it rolls the damage. Yeah, never know. It's not gonna roll the damage. It's okay, it'll roll. It'll give us the other information, right? <laughs> Alright, roll the damage. Cool. I have to do is... That's neat. It rolled the uh, damage, but it didn't roll a caster down. level check. Yeah. Uh... Oh, you're using those added fields. I'm still using description. Oh, no, nope. fireball fizzle. Fireball, he just ignores it. Oh, spell resistance, man. That's brutal. Um. Yep. Uh, Brugar. Mm. You see this Can thing I see, almost like, which direction like it's gonna come out from? It's climbing out the bottom of the pit. This if side. If any of us okay. die at this point, it's totally your own fault. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amber's not dying. She's had two <laughs> call close calls with death today. She's oh, today. She's going home. Oh, that's right. The, yeah. The yeah, because this is the same day as the hag fight. <laughs> yeah. Bad day for um, Amber. <laughs> I asked Tiki if she can heal me one more time, and I'm getting ready to to charge this thing if it uh makes it out. Um, so I guess I'm going to hold my action until after it's turn. Okay. I say I'll try. Okay. I used my big guns already, so I'm out of that. Amber, do you keep just leaving? Yeah, I'm going to go get help. Okay. So, so Amber you just can flies consider off. me like off of the combat tracker. <laughs> yeah, okay. Gone. I'm flying away <laughs> at ninety feet per uh, round. Okay. On its turn, it's gonna attempt another no climb check. Oh, shit. It gets out, and then it's gonna move up next to Brugar. And that's its whole yeah. turn. That was a full a double. It was a double move, basically. Good. Brugar. Okay. I'm gonna step up, and I'm going to try and bull rush. Okay. Does that provoke or anything, or do you have improved no, bull I have rush? Improved. Okay. Actually, hold on. I'm kind of low right now. I think I just want to get up to it, and well, I can combat expertise. It. Yeah, I I probably will have to roll a twenty to uh, hit it with, but yeah, I'm gonna combat expertise. Okay. But I do have haste. No, oh, and the black pit actually goes away. Like, I think. Yeah, the black pit goes away now. Black I think it goes away, like, pretty much right as it climbs out anyway. Yep, it's yep. Five foot. The green, green one's still there, though. So, yep, here comes the bull rush. Wait, has it been healing? Uh, not that you can... It doesn't look like it's been healing. It looks just as not very hurt as it was originally. Oh, I thought the I dot thought, was blue right? earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, and blue is less hurt than green. Oh. Yep. Oh. I always use green as, like, tip top, you know, personally. But yeah, okay. Yeah. Is that what Fantasy Grounds does? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I have no idea. I'm pretty much. I'm pretty much retarded when it comes to colors. <laughs> um, so 26 yeah, that does won't, not, won't does not succeed, so it doesn't go anywhere. Right, yep, that's better. Okay. Tiki. Uh. Oh my god. It yeah, don't, green's it, technically it a warm don't color. matter how much I heal you, bro. It still could potentially like do 
way more damage than that heal. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> What's it's tough, it's a tough there? situation. Yeah. You have haste, if that helps. No. Uh, unless it lets me cast twice. Uh, Brugart, what's your health? I'm at 36 of 81. Uh, oh. Okay. But I do have my defenses up, so I have a considerable amount of AC. Well, I could I'm either try right? and chance it and forbid him one more time, or give you a low heal. Um, whichever one you want, I... Yeah, I don't know. That's... that's I'm thing. personally a gambler. Yeah, I want to forbid it, because I feel like if that succeeds, that's the better option. But if it doesn't succeed, and yeah. it gets to hit Brugar, then I'll feel really bad. But we didn't run, so... Well, that's not... I can put Bear and... Bear's Endurance on Brugar. Uh, it's a touch. That won't help very much. And he might already have an enhancement. It's enough. Bonuses. It'll be 7 HP. He actually does he have uh, a con belt. He has a con well, belt. I think yeah, it's so plus 2 con one. belt. So he wouldn't get as much out of it as... Uh, he wouldn't get as much out of it as you get out of it. Um... Or I can glitter dust it again. You've been rolling well on your caster level checks. Ah, half of them. Glitter Dust is pretty good. Yeah, Glitter will give that mischance multiple rounds, where Forbid's only once. And we don't know how much longer we have. Maybe only a couple. Well, no. Oh, a bit. Not rolling the knowledge checks, man. Don't know anything about this other than it had a supernatural sonic attack. And it has really sharp claws. And it's immune to electricity. That's about that's about all you know. Can we phone a friend? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what Amber's doing. I mean they're both will save, so my chances are still the same. Except for Glitter Dust's DC is no. by one. Glitter Dust says spell resistance, no. Oh, yep. so I have that. But then yeah, it's just it's safe. So, okay. Yeah. I think I know this Glitter because that... I'm most gonna... conjuration yeah. spells are like that, as I found out. Oh god. It's a good thing All it right says Glitter Dust, because the 18 went in of uh, overcome its spell resistance. And it fails. It's blind again. Right. Oh, I got past this. We're back. It nice. doesn't allow spell resistance. It's a uh, glitter dust. I thought the spell on roll twenty was supposed to not. Anyways. Oh, I need to remove that prone icon thing. It hasn't been prone for ages of empires. <laughs> so, all right, it's blind, Kale. Okay, success. Shut up, woman. I'm blind. I mean, unless Tiki wanted to move somewhere, but. You can still do that. Go no, ahead. She no. probably should have five foot step back at least. Well, I don't want to get too far from Brugar. Okay. So what does Kale do? She's uh, now blind I can... demon murder bear gorilla. Alright, um... I'm going to... Man bear gorilla. <laughs> so since it's blind, I can cast spells in front of it without doing it defensively. Uh, you could, or yeah, depending on what spell it is, you could also just yeah, you could also just cast and walk up to it as well. Yeah, yeah. Either way, I'll I just tell cast Kale to grab the dwarf, grab the one that Tiki heal, and get him sit somewhere safe. Nah, man, I got images. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna move up to attack it. 
This is this is why Kale got captured in the first place. Alright, okay. <laughs> okay. You're just attacking? Just a normal attack? With yeah, deliver yeah. Or did you cast a spell? Casted frigid touch. Gotcha. So that I think allows spell resistance, right? Yeah um, I assume so. Uh, yep, go ahead and roll a caster level check. And see if it goes with the dice this time. Well, uh, it does. Go ahead and roll your frigid touch damage. Yay! I'm Ooh, not sure staggering. why it didn't roll the damage. Yeah, it's weird. It did the caster level check. The other one's the other way around. It did just the damage and not what the caster level check. What if I told you there is no damage um, thing in it? It does 46 points of cold damage. I mean, it's not in, like, the, the macro text. It didn't do it again. Oh, right yeah, I know. I know there's not. That's, that's weird. In the description, um, if you just put the brackets around the numbers in there, it'll roll it when it does the description. That's what it I looks do. like the cold damage doesn't all go through, but it does seem to affect it enough that the stagger effect does happen. Oh, and I'll see hit with okay. the scimitar. Hmm. So it didn't look like you hurt it very much, but you did slow it down. All right, Amber is not here. It's there. going to it work that time. All right, there we go. So what is this thing going to do now? It's staggered and blind. It knows somebody just ran up and tried to hit it since it's it got hit by this cold damage. So it might, I think it might try to swipe out of that direction. Okay. Um, he's going to do an awesome blow on you. He's going to attempt to at least. Thirty-two beat your throw awesome blow. It's a CMD. Does it beat your CMD? Yes, but that does that go against a mirror image? Nope, because he's blind anyway, and he gets through concealment. So you take eleven damage, and he flings you back ten feet, and you're prone. Oh boy. And since it's staggered, that's all it can do. Brugar. Oh, I guess I'll make a will save at the end of turns. So. I'm gonna... Uh, it fails, I think. 17, right? Uh, yeah, 17. Still blind. Yay. Glitter that's so good, sometimes. It was. You guys did awesome. Um, I'm going to take a five foot step and abuse its its blindness right now as it flails around and attacks. And I'm going to pick up my dwarven brother here. Which one? Okay. The dead one. The, the one that's still alive. unconscious one that you healed. Okay. And using my swiftness because I am hasted, I am going to carry him with me because a dwarf oh, is shit. not. Impeded oh, okay, by Sorry. Wait. Oh, okay. I call to the others to, to we got to get him to safe. <laughs> and I'm gonna start moving. Not too far, cause I'm not gonna leave Tiki and Kale behind. Okay. Uh, Tiki, you. All right. Some amazing shit's about to happen, but you've probably right. seen this before. But Tiki looks worried over at Brugar as he picks up the dead guy, and she looks over at the guy she healed, and she picks him up and starts carrying him and running off with him, too. Picks the dead guy up? Okay. the live guy. The, the, the one I healed. This guy. Here. Oh, that was No, the, the one that Brugar's carrying, the one you healed. The one that has a skull and crossbones on him is actually dead dead. Oh, 
Well, I'll pick up the dead dead guy anyways. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, and that I'll is weird. run off. Because <laughs> she's You're got weird, ant hole. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and place yourself where you're at. Uh, probably yonder, away, ahead of them and stuff. Okay. Uh, Kale, you're prone. Like off the you map can get up as a move thing. action. Uh, yeah. Well, if I'm hasted as much as I could go. Yep. Yeah. I just follow. So you stand up and then move sixty feet. Yep. Oh wait, that's right, they moved before this thing. Can I retcon my movement and just have it be, like, further away? Sure. For some reason, I thought it was going to attack them before that. Yeah, then I, I jam, we jam with the dwarves in our hands. Yeah. Okay. So, on its turn, it tries to slam at where Brugarp was standing before. Doesn't see anything. He's gonna try to. He's gonna move into that, um, into that square, and like move a little bit. But he still doesn't know where anyone is. And then he's gonna attempt that will save to end the blindness, and he fails. So he's still blind. How long does that last against eight, seven rounds? Yeah. Okay. Um. And you guys are just, I'm assuming you guys are just going to run away from this thing, right? Is, yep. As far as we can. We feel like we've defeated it. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to roll a couple more will saves here. And see if he, he eventually passes, but I think by the time he passes, you guys will have been able to gotten several hundred feet away. And there's enough forestry and stuff that even by the time he breaks the blindness, he doesn't know where you guys are at. So, yeah, you guys get away. Um, you guys the can real always come back is, later. Does he pass out from lack of air? Yeah, we'll go look for. Uh, him you guys later. will have to find out later because you guys don't. You guys ran away from him, so you don't know for sure. But I mean, probably. We'll have to come. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end combat there, though. In any case. Yeah, I mean, Tiki knows that her spell works, so that's all. All I can really say. Like, he started holding his breath, but... I don't know. He can find some water fast enough, but... <laughs> Dunk his head and keep it in there. Hey, fishies? Can you, can you help me fishies? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Seems like this is my life now. Alright, so you guys escape, though. Yep. After Holy a near-death experience with murder... Random encounter murder bear. Well, I sort of random encounter. Once, yeah. There is a I story behind it. But... I think after five <laughs> oh my minutes, God. it might be safe to go and check and see if we can find it. Or uh, it would. So do you you you'd want to go back then? Yeah, I'm down to so go and find that, it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm not. I'm sorry. I have 16 health. I've been in the negative. You've been through some shit. Today. <laughs> and okay, Tiki. You'll be fine. Tiki and Brugar go back at least. Does Kale go with them? At, with his whole two yeah, health? Yeah, I'll cast Bear's Endurance back on myself again. <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't give you any more extra health, but. In it's fact. just temporary HP, isn't it? No, Bear's no. Endurance isn't. No. Bear's Endurance just. Oh. Bear's Endurance actually is going to work like old school Barbarian too, where once the Bear's Endurance falls yep. off, you're going to lose that health. So you're going right. to want to probably yeah. get Tiki to heal you if you're at 2 health with Bear's Endurance up. I, I go to 2 health and then... Oh, once Bear's I Endurance runs off, you go to 2 health. 14. I yeah, got you, yeah. okay. Okay, that's fair. Um, okay, so you guys go back, and sure enough, you do find that it it moved a little ways, but it's definitely... Is definitely dead. Definitely dead. Like dead, okay. dead. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right. Um, I will pull out the wand and start healing those that look hurt. I don't know. So would I be able to study this to figure out what it is? Uh, uh, time in the world. 
And now that you got all the time in the world? Probably. <laughs> Ryza would now be with me. Okay. Go ahead and roll like another. I'll give you another chance on the knowledge uh, knowledge planes check to try to identify it again. Okay. Now that you have more time. Um, I will heal uh, him while he's doing that. Cause that's Amber's... Ryza's check, actually, right? Yeah. Not with us. So Ryza would know that this is definitely a demon. That specifically, it's a uh, it's a bestial demon. Uh, obviously, but like, yeah, these uh, yeah, you know, these are immune to electricity and poison, and resist acid, cold, and fire. They have spell resistance and DR ten good and uh, a shit ton of um like uh health as well and you also would know that uh so you know that it has it can only do that roar thing it did three times a day so that's why it stopped doing it after that third one um you also know that it has the ability that it can do once a day um which is basically a spell-like ability called Chaos Hammer. Um, but that ability only works on lawful creatures. Otherwise, it basically doesn't do anything. Uh, doesn't so it work on neutral creatures? Uh, nope, it only works on lawful creatures. Huh. Oh, I guess it works on neutral. Lawful creatures, the slow effects work on. So it works on neutral creatures as well. But only the damage part works on neutral creatures. Uh, so you know, and you know, you also know that it has the ability to see invisibility and has dark vision, and also can at will create darkness. Uh, for some reason, it didn't do that here, but probably because he can't see in it. <laughs> okay. No, he actually has dark vision. He could have oh, okay. seen it if he'd done it. <laughs> yeah, see invisibility too. But so that's just normal darkness. That. Yeah, it's I probably because. Dark. Yeah, it's probably. You imagine it's probably because it's been fighting dwarves that have dark vision as well, so it just oh. hasn't bought. Like it takes a standard action still to cast its at will darkness there, basically. Right I think. Yeah. yeah, it probably just knows it's not hasn't been all that effective. Uh, you also know these are intelligent creatures, and that they normally can communicate via telepathy. This one obviously didn't talk to you guys at all, though. He could have. But while you, he was down in that Ryza area. knows that it could have. Hmm, okay. It's one... You probably get some channels from the clerics as it's well. One strong bear. No, I'll do it myself. Okay. Oh, did Amber come with us after all? No, no. Amber's at the cave oh, with Philippe she's healing and herself. Okay. the clerics. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't find it has anything on it, though. No, no magic treasure or anything like that. Meh. I'm gonna take my tread. All right. But you guys do get some experience. Everyone gets three thousand experience. Nice. Hot diggity. Even full. I'll deep. continue carrying the dwarf sure. back to the camp. <laughs> Mostly just because I want to keep everyone the same level, but. <laughs> I have done games before where everyone has like different experience tracks. Well, that's and, what you were uh, doing with our first game, and you were like rewarding us with XP for like role playing and stuff. Yeah. It also works sometimes if you is like you can use it as like an incentive to get people to show up to every game. You know, like if you're not there, you don't get experience. <laughs> yeah, yep. I remember that. I, I I used to do a game that was like that. That was kind of annoying though. I think it makes right, more especially... sense in three five because there are like experience costs to things. Yeah, so people end up being at different experience levels anyway. Um, like some oh, spells. There's some... level adjustment shit. Yep. And also, so like uh... favored, if you multi-classed, it could uh, 
you'd get like experience penalties as well. <laughs> if you so if we kill two class. more of those things, we level. Oh we well, kill one more I of guess... those things we level. No, we we level at uh. Oh right, what the, what experience did we get from last session? Because I wasn't there for that. What are you guys? At thirty-one, four twenty. Yeah, thirty-one, uh, four twenty, exactly. The log says that we gained two thousand five hundred last session. So three thousand thirty-one thousand four hundred and twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what we're. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We do kill one more of those things. Level. Yeah, but. It took you guys like three and a half hours to kill one of these. But we now we know how so. to do it better. And now we know how to do. It. <laughs> you just need to like stall it for like twenty we're something rounds. We're gonna lure it into a pit. We're gonna suffocate or just it. Have and a we're gonna DR put good a boulder weapon. on the thing. Yeah. yeah, having DR DR good weapon would be really like a way to overcome the DR ten good. Would be really. I think strong. I would have hit it enough times to actually put it into low HP. If you had, a, if you were able to overcome the DR, yeah. Yay! I used a very evil spell if you... in a not as evil way for good reasons. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys had I mean, able to still use a kind of evil what? Uh, Look at that thing! Way. There's nothing evil about killing that. Okay, I saw that you guys weren't harming it very much, and that was the best way I or Tiki felt she could contribute. It's literally a demonic servant of Deklovsar, so I mean... Yeah, it doesn't Well, look probably. Nice. Could just be a random demon that just happens to live out here as well. But I, I mean... shouted up at the sky that Deklovsar's minions are too weak. Why are you shouting at the sky? I don't know. Maybe he where, where the hell is the, the ground are? where these things come from? Oh. The abyss. It must be below us. Right. I mean, I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> okay, um, well, yeah, I, I we'll take these dwarves back to the other ones, and Tiki will ask, you know, if they, if anybody knows them, if they're recognized. Um, she, Does this thing have any particularly impressive, like, feature of it that could be taken as a trophy? Obviously, like, um, super freaking, but yeah, like, can I get like a like a like a particularly nice looking fang or like a, a nice spike or I don't know. I mean, it's got can really it really nasty looking claws, so maybe one of its claws. Does it oh, have horns? Cut off its. Does Tiki off its have paw? shrink so we can carry it with us? Uh, it, that's shrink item. I mean, you guys shrink. can probably carry it back with you anyway. If you really want well, to. Well, depends how much it weighs. That's an this issue. This probably weighs me. a lot. I don't want yeah, but there are three of you, and Let's one go. of you has ammo. How much does it weigh? I'm, I'm going to take a bear paw. I, I've decided. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take one of the few things that is sharp that I do have. A little, like, hatchet or something. And then I'm okay. going to hack away at the thing's wrist and take away this big meaty paw and I I just he's like oh man wait until the guys like wait, wait until everyone sees this <laughs> all right Tiki's like nodding Rugar's up at him like, like yeah yeah wait yeah yeah you know like totally. people are gonna be we're gonna tell stories about people they're gonna be telling stories about us for a while I may even add Philippe into it, just to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is say he spotted it. Ta-da! He spotted it and promptly ran to the woods. <laughs> he spotted it and he pulled out this mirror and he's like, Am I going to just... <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, I, so... I take a demon bear paw. And I put it somewhere on me, and I carry it back as a trophy. Good. Well, I think Tiki actually prevented more damage, but I I think I also did some prop monking here. Everyone did a lot of good stuff. Everyone did well. 
Well, you drew its attention for a little while so the others could relax, you know. Unfortunately, you're squishy. Yeah. The second Everyone's pit kind of backfired a little. That thing. I keep hearing a ding, and I don't know what it's from. I don't know. That would be Matt texting me. Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, whatever happened. Did he um, fall into he's a been pit working. Too? He got cursed. Uh-oh. I'll be right back when we go to the bathroom. He should just quit his job and play Pathfinder. Yeah, nobody needs no, to right. like... Yeah, that's like, the, that's like the adult thing to do, right? I mean, you just live in a basement, right? And people bring you food every once in a while, right? I've heard rumors of people being able to do that. Yeah. Must be nice. I think you're supposed to have, like, a old record collection, too. What? I never heard this part of it. <laughs> I know two people, um, and they have, like, these old-ass record collections that they're always so proud of. Yeah, and they live in a basement? Yeah, <laughs> at their mom's house, and they don't work. And they just goof around a little Oh my god. It must be an organ thing, I don't know. No, I think that's a thing everywhere, but I don't know anyone personally that does that. But they can get away with it, I guess. We have a lot of people around here just like, like death latching on to the 80s, the 70s, the 80s, and even the 90s. Like, they're not letting go. They're kicking and screaming about mm -hmm. it. Collecting everything related to the time... You go into the house and you're like, oh, I'm in the 80s again. Oh, shit. <laughs> mm. It's weird. <laughs> I didn't really think this one through. Uh oh. What'd you not think through? A feed Whenever selection? I get fatigued, I am one pound away from being medium encumbrance. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that's kind of rough. If I mean, the thing, the way I see it is, you use your rage in situations where things shit yeah. hits the fan, and you basically are figuring most of the time if the rage, like most of the time you're ending the rage because the combat's over <laughs> one way or the other. Bet. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, is that's pretty much what, why it is. I'm gonna pull you guys to the. Well, hold on a second. I have also, a nine TK strength. technically did the most damage in that fight. Oh, fatigue's making uh, more. Okay. Um, well, that if might you be true. looking kind of weak, uh... Oh, Anvil? Well, he could still carry his stuff. Well, he's just slower, and I'm slow, so I don't really care. Alias is dead. Long live Alias. He is dead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you would just be walking at my pace, I guess. Not, nothing too bad about that. Right, so, but I would lose. Wait a second. Never mind. When you I, guys I get back a bunch to of decks, the though. Uh, to the shrine, uh, and uh, the dwarf, the live dwarf, wakes up. You find out that he is like he wakes up. And he's seems like where, where am I? Last thing I remember, I was getting mauled by some crazy creature. Uh, and this is where I deliver my one liner. Brugger says, you mean this? And he he brings out the big ol' Sephir <laughs> demon bear. Oh, what, what the hell? What? Get that away from me. I, I tell him to, it's alright, lad. You're okay. Gather your strength. Rest. I love how we're like... We managed to deal with it. Yeah, I was out, was out there looking for, uh, was out there looking for a boar or something to hunt, and, uh, he found much bigger than a boar. This thing just ambushed me. I don't think <sighs> Must have been hiding. This thing. It's been hiding somewhere in the, in the bush. I don't know how that thing stayed hidden. It was so, just my, it was gigantic. But I guess since I wasn't looking for it, it just 
They managed to sneak up on me from somewhere. I these uh creatures are tricky. Uh, I mean you guys would find out the one that died is it was just one of the dwarves that went looking for one this of guy. The guys who was looking for him. Poor he guy. He deserves yeah. a proper burial. That he does. And that makes me very proud of Tiki. <laughs> All right. See so yeah, how they'll go about wanting to do one of those. Um, somebody else tells him, you know, what was his name? His name was like Tearback or something, right? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I believe is what I said his name was. But anyway, or Tearbor. It was Tearbor. Sorry, it was Tearbor. They tell yeah, Tearbor. So they tell they tell Tearbor like you know, no more hunting, <laughs> at least not alone. It's uh, it's getting too dangerous. I think the shrine's attracting some dangerous attention. Yeah, yeah, the the shrine. At least that's what I assume. Did, did it? I mean, what was that thing? Right? Was it a demon? Don't know. I, I think so. All I know is that it it can't breathe underwater. Well, it can't. Well, no, it can't now. But it could. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. We don't know what you're saying. So that it couldn't breathe air. Well, she knows that it couldn't breathe underwater originally, or else the spell would not have worked. So that is the fact that she knows. Yeah. (laughs) But she's having a hard time saying it. (laughs) All I know is that it certainly had the strength of a demon. And that, yes, like, you guys should be careful outside of the shrine. If there are. Yeah, we knew that the there event. were minions of Declaus are following us. Do, uh, did you say that? Uh, right now? Which raises the question are there still minions of Declaus are following us? Tiki, like, nods. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, there definitely are. <laughs> That's what Tiki's nodding, right? Yeah. And I'll say one of the, like, Martin's probably there, too, or one of the other priests. Probably Martin. Martin's still kind of in charge here of a priest at the moment, even though he's been, like, reporting to, like, people higher in the order than him. He's still, right now, at the high topest one here. So that's, he's trying to be like, they, they probably are. There's probably more of them. Are you just going to stay here? Of course, we need to stay here and defend it from, uh... We don't want them getting in here and and getting access to it, either. Mm. Yep, I understand you. Especially if they know it's here now, I think it's even more important that we stay here. Well, if you can do something like Tiki here did... Suffocate him. That works. It was yeah. really difficult to damage with our mundane weapons. Although we did manage to push and trip it around a little. Hmm. I'll need to get some holy weapons or something in here. Oh, it and and it doesn't like to be blind. I'm hoping that our. Uh... It seems to have a fairly weak will. Uh, yep. Whatever it was. That's not to say the other minions of Declausar will be the same. Hmm. 
so yeah, he says, I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that the Church of Desna sends reinforcements with, so that are better equipped for these sorts of threats. Um, I've sent more word about, I'm going to send more word, I'm going to send word to them about what happened here today, that things are getting more uh, dangerous than they were even just yesterday. I nod. Anyway, I'm, it's unfortunate that one of the dwarves died, but I'm glad you were able to save one of them at least. I, of course. You wouldn't leave a, a dwarf behind. Maybe one of the other dwarves says, like, um, like, well, Hamelier died trying to save his friend. Um, so at least, at least he died in a noble way. Indeed. I couldn't have said it better myself. We'll have to send, uh, we'll have to send the money he would have made working here. Uh, to his family back in in uh, Yanderhof. Speaking of, where are we going to go next? Well, you guys were heading towards Hars and then eventually Corvosa. But then you guys oh, turned okay. around I think that's because still of. still the plan. Yeah, you guys turned around because Philippe got a Stow Curse cast on him. Which he technically still has on him because Martin failed his. Caster level check to get rid of it when he and he only yep. had one uh, remove curse prepared. So Tomorrow he'll try to remove it again next session. <laughs> yeah. Can we have him Which... try to remove it, uh, like at the end of this session? Yeah, I suppose we could end it with you guys resting. Uh, yeah, I'm down for that. So, Yay, let's rest. I don't know if you guys want to do any more healing or anything like that before um, resting. I will top people off with the remaining of my um, spells, which I have three cures. So, how badly hurt is the rest of you guys still? Rises on one out of twenty-nine. I'm fine. Brugar's still got some injuries, I think. Okay, Ruger, twelve. What? How? I'm at. I mean, actually, there's twelve. Okay. There's clerics here. Just everybody top themselves off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah, I don't want to use wand um, charges, it's... basically. Yeah, it's silly. It's silly to even think, think about this because there's like, there's like a dozen clerics here. So like, I mean, just somebody will probably heal you. Again. Yeah. Yeah. They have channels and cure spells themselves. So yeah, you guys just just top yourself off. Okay. Um. You know what? I'm Burgar's looking at this bear paw and he's thinking, you know what? Like, if we were going back to Karmaga, this would be a great trophy to put up. Well, on. it's actually not really a paw. Cavern. Like I said, remember this thing was like a weird bear slash gorilla thing, really. Like it's got the uh -huh. head of a bear. Yeah, but it has. It actually is more like like a hand with like freaking gigantic like claws on it. Like think like Wolverine uh -huh. claws or something. Um, okay. Do the claws themselves look kind of, like, weird and not normal? Uh, they look menacing, but... Alright, well, uh... he's basically gonna abandon the, the paw, because they're not gonna go to, like, any tavern that already knows him, and it's gonna be a really big chore to lug around. Hey, he's got some better-looking trophies so anyway, right? So he's just gonna get a... I don't know, this one's pretty impressive-looking. Uh, the, the claw from the crab was pretty cool, though. But he's just gonna mm -hmm. take a claw instead. He okay. Put that There's the like bag. a single one of the claws because it's a lot yeah. easier to carry around, and it and it's a really long claw. Like, like you could basically just pull that out, kind of like the fucking like I don't know Jurassic Park, like the Jurassic Park scene where he's showing off the Velociraptor claw or whatever. Like kind of like yeah. that. <laughs> <He's> like look <laughs> at how many long his claws. Yeah, or you could use an improvised weapon. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll take that. This should be sufficient to prove to 
anybody who doubts my claim to this mm -hmm. uh, this. <laughs> and we'll say the next morning that Philippe's curse does get removed this time. Hooray! And he's ready to set out without, you know, all the shitty penalties that he had before. Um, Alright, and as normal, I'll put Ant Hole on myself before we leave. Okay. Yeah, that'll be the end of the session. The overnight rest button, and then. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, Good session. job, team. Yeah, it was ended up just being a single combat, uh, even though that wasn't really the plan originally. <laughs> but we we saw something and we we didn't wimp out. Yeah, you guys were like, we're gonna fight this thing, and, and we, we ain't did. gonna we ain't gonna run away until the very end of the fight where we did run away. But you did fight it for like twenty rounds before yeah. that, so <laughs> it was quite the battle. Definitely one of the strongest uh, single, mo the single most strongest creature Brugger has ever faced. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was definitely the the toughest thing you guys have ran into that you guys actually fought. There was like something that you ran into that was maybe I don't know if it was quite as tough. It probably was relatively tougher though for what level you guys were back. This was before. Uh, this was coming back from the swamp where we heard something. And yeah. Like, eh, let's not invest. You guys heard something in the. You guys heard something weird out in the swamp as you guys were leaving it, and you guys decided not to go investigate it because you had no real reason to, and it was probably a good thing because that thing would have probably been a. If you guys actually fought it, it probably would have murdered somebody. So if we would have partially TPK'd there, Philippe never would have known. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he would have known you guys left to go find that dwarf, but yeah. It would have been interesting. He yeah, came back, I'm like, alright. Philippe, your friends never came back. <laughs> you get a vegan new party. It's Philippe dead. and his new party. Four new people show up to join your cause. <laughs> yeah. I don't you guys think like... we were anywhere close to TPK. No. I don't think no, but so. you're really close um, to having... Um... Single digit HP it was really for close for there to be one death. I think if that had happened, maybe maybe two if everyone stuck around and kept trying to fight, but I think eventually people would have just been able to run away. Like you guys kind of did anyway, eventually, but... It doesn't really have a whole lot of ways to keep multiple, like, keep you all there. It can grab somebody, but I mean, that's about it. Mm-hmm. And with yeah, haste, you guys outrun it. So, I guess we'll this have to do why the... I cast haste, and then I ran away. I guess we'll have to do the stuff I have planned for, like, you know, Hearse or the city before Hearse, like, for later, like, for next session. So, that's cool, I guess. Yeah. So, I'm kind of looking forward to Hearse, actually. But, oh well. Uh -oh. Why are you guys always so worried when I'm looking forward to something? I'm not worried. I don't know why they're worried. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's gonna be it's gonna be great fun for all parties involved. I think my uh -huh. uh are usually what when I'm you sound that enthusiastic about it. I guess the last thing I was really enthusiastic about was uh, <laughs> the Akai fight, I suppose. <laughs> And look how that turned out. You guys, you guys totally uh -huh. beat him. That's, that uh, by the way, that's something. That's something you guys could use to kill one of those things. You could use that weapon you guys got from Akai. Uh, if you could ever figure out how to use it. Is it... Did we find out it was good? Uh, no, oh, but it's, it's plus five got high... 